more Pikmin. Let's go. But yeah, video's finally out. And it took a while to make it, so I hope you enjoy it. And like I said, there's a number of... There's actually a surprising number of interesting little, like, useless trivia in that video that I found just by doing it. Oh. I would recommend it. I made the video after all. And I have my answer, of course. I have what I set out to do. I didn't think it would be 49 minutes long, though. I, I really didn't think it would be that long. But there were some really interesting things in there. Alright. Volume should still be good, chat. Day 12, yep. Those are it's good Pikmin count. 8 hours. 18 friends. 8,914 sporklies. We're good? Yeah, I'm gonna chill. I'm gonna chill until I get to a cave that wants to uh, eat my ass, I suppose. That's the plan. Hmm. I'd like to get to the next video that I'm working on as well. But I'm occupied, I suppose. Alright, brother. I guess we're doing this a couple more times, huh? You're gonna go on a night expedition. So, I'm gonna assume the way this works is each area has, like, its own exploration at night. And you have to do it for the sap. As if you could just farm the same area over and over again, it'd be like, what's the point? Yeah, ancient arc. So you have to do everything. Rugged scaffold is next. So it's based on it's based on the bases that you get. Higher the danger level, the more friendly the creatures. It doesn't mean a larger creature will pop out and surprise you. All right, we're gonna do it. Okay. The audio sounds crusty. It's crackling. Oh, hold on. Hold on. How about now? My fan's on over there. Is it my fan? Or do I need to like reset my uh, microphone? <clears throat> Hold on. Hold on chat, I'm gonna mute my microphone. Let me know if you can hear it. Nothing. It's the game. Let me reset the capture card. Okay. Properties. Deactivate. Destroy. Activate. All right. How's that better? Is that good? Or is it still like noticeable? There's something else I figured about Glow Pikmin. As you can see, Glow Pikmin emit a very powerful light. What? I didn't even notice that. You can use X to gather your Glow Pikmin until they meld together and form one large glowing ball. What the hell? Release them all at once to create a luminous and a literally stunning effect, which I call a glow mob. One flash of that overpowering light, and you will witness all kinds of creatures cowering under its dazzling glow. Eh. Thank you, Yoshi, for this, the raid. It's not a sub. Remember the glow seeds you picked up the other night? I took the liberty of putting them in your pack. Let me show you how to use them. First, select the glow seed from your pack. When you throw it, it'll instantly create a glow Pikmin. Of course, they only work at night or in caves, so don't forget that. Oh, shit. You can create dudes. <clears throat> okay, that's neat. Alright. Glow glow Pikmin, you'll need more. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright. I remember how this works. So, it's like tower defense. And there's different areas you can go into. Oh, I lit it up. There's a big guy. 
So I either survive or kill everything, but after a certain point, things are gonna aggro towards me anyway. Okay, I get it. So yeah, my day was, uh, interesting chat, I suppose. Wasn't a bad day, it was kind of a weird day. Kinda wish I could get my, uh, got my video out earlier, but I'm happy to just have it out in general. And like I said, I hope you enjoy it, because it took quite a while. It took quite a while to uh, get it all done, but it was less so because it was difficult and more so because it was just kind of boring to do over and over, you know? There we go. Oh. Don't eat that. We got a problem. Luminol is under attack. If it takes too much damage, we won't get the medicinal ingredients we need from it. Get rid of these creatures, new blood. Motherfucker, stop eating my Pikmin! You lost the glow Pikmin, you blood. Shut the hell up, I know what I'm doing. See? We're fine, I got it. This thing doesn't heal, does it? It's because I had to rush. That's right, growing pains. That's all this. I think we're fine, we're fine. Bonk. We're fine. I like that when things die, they just like explode into nothing. I assume. I don't even know the glow stuff. Okay, there's another one coming. I like that they come back to you. Trickknoll is being attacked. Holy shit. Oh. That's a sizable creature right there. Oh, oh, jeez. It sure likes to make a horrifying noise. Holy Jesus. Whoa. Motherfucker's frenzied. Get him. I'm gonna get his ass. Yeah, fuck you. That was massive! Damn! Fantastic. There's not a single creature left standing or skittering or hopping. Wow. <sighs> Amazing work tonight, as per usual. <clears throat> Normally, Chad, I like to talk about the details of, uh, like, what the video entailed, but since I literally just uploaded it, like, uh, less than an hour ago. I don't want to spoil it for anyone who wanted to watch it, you know. Because, I, like I said, there's a lot of cool little fun facts I found in that video that are very pointless, but I think are very neat. But it is also 49 minutes, so it's kind of a, a bit of a drag. <laughs> Alright then, new blood, go collect the glow sap. If I didn't want to work on it, though, I wouldn't have done it. But Jesus. 49 minutes was a lot. I think the next one I have that I need to work on right now, Chad, is like less than 15, so it won't take that long to do. I'm just really lazy and have yet to cut it up. That's all. Because I've been playing, uh, been playing X. Like, I've been playing a ROM, uh, modif difficulty hack of X and Y that adds all the Pokemon, uh, makes things harder, makes things more convenient for the player, stuff like that. And I've been really enjoying it. There's only six creatures. Damn. I just beat Grant. I beat Grant and Grant had a... Uh, he had six Pokemon. Same with Viola. They both had six Pokemon. They're not very easy to beat though. <laughs> Good work. 
Looks like you're getting the hang of these night expeditions. I think you're ready. Next time you venture out, you can go wherever you like to collect glow sap. Hmm. So for a pilot starts in earnest now, too. Rescue as many leaflings as you can. Let's cure them all. So about that, let's stop and think for a hot minute here, okay? It's possible Bernard hasn't turned to a leafling yet. What do you mean? I spent a lot of time thinking about it. Yes, that leafling with the dog was chasing me, and yes, that's when I realized Bernard had disappeared, but that's all. What I'm saying is I never actually saw him turn to a leafling or anything. Oh, interesting. Then, uh, what should we... Look, at the very least, if we catch that leafling, we might be able to get a lead on Bernard's whereabouts. <clears throat> I see, okay. I'll search for that leafling is your top priority. Understood. Alright, that concludes this emergency meeting. It's called, um... It's called Eternal X and Wilting Y. There's a couple versions of it. I'm playing the version that has a lot more, like, changes to it. So, new typings, abilities, some better base stats for worse Pokemon. The routes are jam-packed with options. For example, <clears throat> uh, Petalil. You can find Petalil in the forest, and it's part fairy. Milotic is part fairy. HMs are, like, better moves. Alright, administer the cure at once. Yes, Captain. Like, Cut is a 60 base power grass move that always crits. Strength is a 100 base power rock move that lowers your defense and special defense on use. Hmm. Corgwin. When it comes to work, he's thorough, fast, reckless, and presumptuous, which also describes his plan to build houses here. Oh. Okay. Our work doesn't end here. It's our duty to care for and protect anyone who rescued him. We hear what they have to say. Why does this man want to battle? What? So far. Hey, thanks for the sweet rescue. I'm a general contractor for Moyama Construction. My name is Corgwin. Just like rescuing folks, construction is all about using your imagination and Dondori powers to get the job Good. done. Thinking you and I could join forces and train for Dondori battles together. Let's get the imaginative juices for flowing. Uh, you want me to train? Good. Now we're talking. Plus, you do, there's a super sweet reward video for you. Good. The results you had at Dondori battles, nothing to scoff at. Way to go. Get gold. A little something just for you, but back to the reason you're here. Let's train those Dondori Moosels. Get gold in three battles. One. Trial run. Oh, you can redo them here. Oh, okay. So I can redo this one and aim for uh, aim for the, the platinum, yeah? I need to win by 100. Yeah, I need to win by 100 plus. Okay, let's go. Yeah, it's really cool. Uh, there's a lot of Pokemon options. And some abilities have changed. Like, for example, I started with Fennekin because I actually like Delphox. Before anyone says anything. <laughs> I like Delphox. I thought Delphox was neat since the very beginning. But it has a Tin ability, which normally... Normally, its Tin ability is... A magician, which is really bad. But instead, it has Magic Guard, which is really good. Yeah, pick that up. Come on. So I have Magic Guard on that instead. So some things like that. Milotic has, instead of has Marvel Scale, it has Multi Scale. There we go. So a lot of just kind of like changes, some base stat changes to make some Pokemon better, things like that. It's really good. Bonk. Alright, I basically need to rob him. Yeah, I need to rob him. There you go. Oh no, is Moss, he's dead. Yep, that's it. It's over for him. Look at that. I've been really enjoying it. I'm not very far in it, but at the same time, it doesn't take very... Like, it takes a while to reach Grant. Okay. There we go. Die, dog. Just gonna kill the dog. There you go. Yeah, it's gonna bully the shit out of him. 
I think the biggest issue with Delphox is it's got kind of a small head. Okay. Its head's just a little small. And its ear fluff is huge. Brakeson's more like, uh, uh, I don't know, centered, I guess. Like, solid. Bonk. It's hard to explain, you know? <laughs> Alright, you're knocked out. I'm going to take that, uh... What the? Get off me! Okay. I need to get this gold. Taking all this from him. Bonk. Wait, Olimar's almost dead. You see that? <laughs> He's almost dead. Taking that gold, though. Ow. I gotta win by 100. I'm not winning by 100 yet. Can you get off me? Get off me! Are those my Pikmin dying? No, they're not. Oh, they are mine. Stupid asshole. I'm still not winning by uh, the right amount yet. Bonk. Gotcha. Come on. Oh! Oh, I'm gonna... <laughs> I won! I won by exactly 100. <laughs> Boy. Play the same stage again? No. That's all I needed. I win. There you go. Another platinum. Okay. Come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Hey you, I was way impressed with your down Dory powers. Thanks, G. It's just been a while since I've played like X and Y. I don't remember a lot of what it like. I remember some of the stuff I'm doing, but also not like a lot of it at the same time. But what was cool about it is that another nightmare. I had a horrific dream last night after I met my doom facing off against a creature. The Pikmin carried me back to their onion. I've often thought that we might share a powerful bond, but perhaps that it was only wishful thinking. Oh, that's the Pikmin one bad end essentially. Okay. I'm going back tonight. Uh, what was I saying? Wow, thanks a ton. You blew a whole lot of pick and flies. They're so beautiful. Stop. But you can't really be done, right? This world needs more flowers. Keep blooming. Oh, I got another 300. Okay. <clears> hmm. <throat> Uh, what was I saying? Right, so the Pokemon changes to encounters is really cool. So, for example, I did, um, I got the old rod. And you know how the old rod is usually just, like, Magikarp Simulator, which is really just great. But I, uh, at the palace, the Parfum Palace, where you get the Poke Rod, or the Poke Flute, uh, if you fish there with the old rod, you can find Feebas and Dratini and Magikarp. However, the encounter rate is 60, 35, 5. With Feebas being 60 and Magikarp being the 5. So basically all the base game Pokemon that you would find on the routes are, are like pushed to be rare encounters. And you find a bunch of just varied Pokemon for your playthrough. So my team, I got a... Uh, the team I had when I did the uh, the first gym. Six bug types, by the way. I had, uh, I had a Sawaddle. Had a Petalil. Had a, a Shinx, a Riolu. I had a Fennekin. And I had something else. I, and I had a Purloin. And now my team, I got a Hone Edge, because Hone Edge is super cool. I got a Hone Edge, I got a Sneasel, I got a Mawile, I got a Milotic, I got a Brakeson, and... 
And pedal is still there, right? Level two danger, okay. Okay, level two danger. I actually did chain fishing as well. You know that mechanic? That's the cool thing about changing up the water encounters. I actually did chain fishing and I got a shiny Phoebus. I ran into a shiny Dratini first and I ran away from it because I did not want it. So that felt really strange to do. But I found, I actually got a shiny Phoebus for a story playthrough, <laughs> which is really cool. Unfortunately, it was the wrong gender. And then I couldn't find a female one, so I cheated it in. But I found, I found the shiny Phoebus. I just got frustrated. I went for an extra five fucking hours and I was like, fuck this. I found one legit. I deserve this. So I, I did that. I don't feel any remorse. Z literally zero remorse for my actions. Because I found one legit. I earned that shiny. Come in, can you hear me? A while back, I taught Ochi a particular skill using operate that involves protecting a client. Secret service? Select Luminol you want Ochi to protect and give him the command. Ochi will patrol any Luminol and bite any creatures that come close. During the night expedition, if he goes separate from your squad, he'll go to that spot and patrol it for you. Order them to protect Luminol. What? No, I'm riding on him, dude. I'm using the charge attack. What are you talking about? <laughs> What you talking about, Captain? I'm I'm on the dog. Feebas isn't a gender evolution anyway. Listen to me. Feebas is one of those Pokemon that has gender differences, and the hair is longer on the female one. It looks prettier. So shut up. Alright. Let me have this. This is how it's gotta be sometimes. <clears throat> oh, interesting. What do we got going on here? Dig in that hole. Dig in that hole. Dirt man excavation complete. I think that just stopped spawning more than anything. Okay. It's true though, chat. It's true. Gen 4 introduced gender differences. It introduced gender differences. I fucking missed all of them. Dead out of here. There we go. And a lot of po- like, if you look at it, you can go look at it yourself. Look at all the gender differences that exist on Pokemon, and check how many of them exist past Gen 4. Not very many, that's for sure. Think you got enough Glow Pikmin? Hell no! Crush. Anything up there? Look for the red silhouettes. Oh, we're going in. The gem force part's barely different. The hair is longer on the female one. You gotta trust me on this, alright? It looks nicer. The long silver hair looks a lot nicer than the shorter one. Take my word for it. Big crushy, big crushy. I don't see anything else. Oh, the Protect the luminol, new blood. Yeah, yeah. I got it. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. I don't care if they're attacking the trick null. It's a trick. That's the whole point of it. Bonk. 
Yeah, get him out of here. Is that all the enemies? Did I get them all? Oh, they're coming out of a hole in the ground. Come here. Oh. We're fine. It's done. It's over. Am I going to lose points for that or something? Because it's not all done. You protected it and held yourself together. I guess I should have went excavating. Spew out my shit. It doesn't matter. Well, if it gives me a medal, it matters. But if it doesn't, it doesn't. We'll see. Give me that glowy sap. The night stuff's kind of neat, though. It's pretty hectic. That huge bulb orb is very interesting. I gotta check the Peclopedia to see if he's in there. The glow Pikmin will be, at least. Okay. But yeah, I've been playing that, chat. Uh, it's been fun to play X and Y again in a version that's, like, better. You know? Because it's actually a pretty stellar well-made uh, difficulty hack a lot of the trainers actually have like three they tend to have like three pop pokemon they're not like huge pushovers uh there's like item changes and stuff like that there's a lot of changes yeah there were holes i had to do i see it five out of six so the, the creature itself counts as the hole got ten of them Okay, I don't think there's a rank to it. This led me to an important realization. Glow Pikmin cannot die. What? How? What do you mean? Well, when a Glow Pikmin meets its demise, it turns into photons and returns to luminol, or so it seems. Are they really Pikmin, then? Yeah, what the hell are they? The fuck? Is it gonna give me a silver? I have to redo the whole thing. All I gotta do is dig up the hole, and if I dig up the hole and kill the big Bulbor, the day ends. I guess we'll see. Hold on, we got a new lad. Piclopedia doesn't classify them as Pikmin. Well, what do they know? Alright, administer the cure at once. Yes, Captain. Pour this goo on him. And you whiz... Jin. He's always in search of the next uncharted planet to explore, as, so as well as someone who wants to hear tales of his past adventures. Our work doesn't end here. It's a duty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's just some guy. Oh, he's the other Dondori guy. You're the one who saved me. Thank you. I'll never forget your kindness. My name is Jin. I am an adventurer wandering the universe in such uncharted lands. Adventurers never skip their training. You can do anything as long as you can rely on your physical self. Which brings to another important aspect of Dondori challenge training. Meditation. Why don't you give it a try? Visualize your Dondori well, I will present you with a small reward. I see you are able to visualize well. You really do have remarkable potential. A golden one challenge in three challenge. Yep. Just take that. Continue to work hard and keep up your training. Yeah, so this is the one for the mission mode one. Yep, I got I got perfect on all these so far. And by whenever you want to meditate, you are always welcome. Alright, we're good, we're good. Let's get some stuff. Beat the Don Dory challenge. Okay, I deep badges. Oh, missed him. Okay, rescue journal. Captain's diary five. People who are capable of caring about those around them or about living creatures in general, they'll never save anyone. You spend a lot of time with your companions. It's important to be thoughtful and considerate in the way you treat them. Okay. I love science. All right, how much material do I got? Five hundred and seventeen. Hmm. Pikmin go missing, call them to the beagle. Air armor. Reduce damage overall. Okay, so this is the armor one. The headlamp. Tough stuff is HP. This, this uses gentle static electricity to stimulate Ochi's nervous system and increases HP. Okay. <laughs> okay, hold on. I need bomb rocks. Like, I think I might... 
grab a bomb rock or two. Yeah, yeah, I'll take two here. Okay. You Pikmin go missing, call them back to the beagle. This works when you Pikmin not curling your squad. I guess... I... I don't know. I think... I think I'm just built different. I don't think I need that. I don't think I need that. Never freeze again. I gotta wonder how many enemies do that. Oh, jeez. Let's get the defense up. Yeah. Let's get the defense up. Air armor. And air armor. Okay. And tough stuff up is more HP. Headlamp. Anti-electrifier. I'll get that. And I guess I'll get the thermal defense. Might as well. Okay. And I'll hold on to the materials for now. Doing more night stuff though. No night stuff. Oh, no, it counts as cleared. Okay. There are a lot of bulborb larvae here. If you don't crush their nestles, they'll just keep popping up. So many bulborbs. Be careful out there. All right. We got three more here. Isn't there just something so thrilling about going in at night? I wish I could go with you. You can. You can be bait. I did leave an ice behind, but you know why I left him behind? Because I tried... I wanted him to put the piece of the bridge down. He didn't do it in time, so I whistled him, and he was like, Whoa. What was that? You, 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 and he didn't actually respond to my whistle, so he didn't join my party. So that was like a combination of both our faults. We both played bad. He didn't respond to my whistle, and I trusted him to actually do his job. So we were both at fault. But it was one guy. You think I'm going to leave 13 guys just out there in the wilderness to fend for themselves? I'm always paying attention. If I see their idle bastards, I go find them. Figure out why they're, why they're slacking. I need my free labor. I ain't got time for their games. Kind of spooky at nighttime, huh? That's why I bought the idler alert. If I can tell who's slacking. Get on the doogie. Alright. We got trick wall. Actually, let them put that in there first, I guess. Actually, if I activate this, does it? Okay. Here they come. Get over the pipe, please. Bonk. Very tough creature. I don't see anything else. See, that's that's why the charge is silly. Okay, all right. I'm looking. I'm looking. I'm looking. I'm looking. I'm looking. I'm looking. I see them. Idiot proof. I don't even think I need this many glow Pikmin, but it's just addictive to run over and collect shit. See, I'm having a blast just grabbing stuff. coming. Bonk. Alright, I've hit the max. We got joust mites. Uh, the creatures. Uh, the trick null. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. They're beating up the gimmick. Who cares? 
Watch. Oh, that's that's actually a lot of them. Oh my god. Uh <laughs> ah, that's a lot of them. Doesn't matter. It's all right. It's all right. We're good. My eyes are on the luminol. Don't worry. You're not gonna eat him, are you? Well, you thought you were gonna eat him anyway. There you go. Day's over. Remember, they don't die. They return to the hive. There you go. They're gonna put some dumbass enemies together at some point for this, I'm sure. Or maybe they won't. Who knows? Either way, we're cleaning up. It's a cool idea. I like the idea of this because it lets you go back to the planet at night to see kind of how the creatures act <clears throat> during nighttime. But it's not just like, it's not just like going, playing the same game, but the creatures are more aggressive. Which, to be fair, that would be kind of cool if there was a mode specifically like you play at night. So the lighting's worse and the enemies are stronger. They're faster. You know, they're just scarier in general. The missions are pretty short and sweet, but it's a cool idea. It's a very cool idea. And the glow fellows are kind of neat. Harvest successful. Plenty of seeds. Next leaf leafing cures of Bernard, what are we going to do? Told you, just focus on finding the leafing with the dog. Over the rescue course, we can't leave anyone behind. Well, now we can keep harvesting glow set, can't we? And look on the bright side, the leafling I healed tomorrow might be Bernard. That's true! I'll have the medicine ready by morning. Until then, enjoy the suspense. Okay, alright. We're doing- we've been doing this for like a week. <laughs> Just night expeditions for a week. There's two left. Can you do a night expedition when you don't have a guy to cure? I assume you can, so just next time you get a leaf guy, you cure him right away. Something like that. Administer the cure at once. Yes, Captain. Even brings the color back to their spacesuit. Shit! The leader of a diverse research task force. It may seem like he doesn't work at all, but he's the glue that keeps the team together. Our work doesn't end here. Chet? No. Where are you, Chet? There you are. You do? Hey, I just wanted to apologize. I can't really do much for you under these, well, difficult circumstances. I'm acting as the leader of a research task force, so its members are all so skilled they hardly need me. What I mean is I'm technically the leader, but the others are all the stars of the operation. They make my job easy. Oh. Hey, is it okay if I ask a little favor of you? From what I can see, not all of my task force members have been found. I know you're very busy, believe me, but I'd appreciate if you could find and rescue my missing rescue team members. If there's anything I can, we can do this, it's you. Rescue the researchers. Three out of nine? Damn! You got a whole fucking... You brought the whole lab with you, dude. Okay. Well... Let's do it again. There's one more leaf guy. He's the guy with the cat face. A little Orin weird. Okay. Sun to wash plateau. This place is ripe with desiccated skitter leaves and joust mites that close only in the blink of an eye. You ever know what night expeditions have in store? They won't tell you anything until you do it at least once, huh? Okay. I like that kitty cat eye, though. Chat, you ever see Azumanga Dayo? First of all, is that really the same guy who did Yotsuba? I, cause I didn't know that. 
I, I read online that the reason Yotsuba never got an anime is because Azumanga Daioh's adaptation wasn't up to the writer's expectations. So he didn't want to turn Yotsuba into an anime. Because it makes a lot of sense, because Yotsuba's really popular. I've wanted to read that for a while now, but I never really think to do so when I'm in the mood to read something. So I feel like Yotsuba's right up my alley. It's just... Watching a small child get into shenanigans. You guys immune to water? Yeah. Well, that's nice. Okay. Yeah, so that's pretty clear. See, I felt like that was the case, but I never really, like... I never really looked at it before, you know? Ooh. Creatures are getting more active. Yeah, I'll get them. Where's my dog? I, I meant to get on his back. There he is. Get on. Alright. I can just survive. If I kill the bluffy, I could kill the puppy blowhogs. Bonk. Okay. Just gotta get up there. Oh. Beagles up here. If I activate the trick ones, that's kinda nice. Yo, he's kinda spooky. I don't think it really matters that much. Ow! Oh, he's approaching! Bonk. He is approaching. Oh, shit! Okay, okay, I gotta go, I gotta go. I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta go. I'm gone, I'm gone, I'm gone, I see them. They're at the trick knoll. I got it, I got it. Oh shit. I fucked up. Yes. Please lock on to the right thing. I got it, I got it, I got it. Bonk. Where'd the other blowhog go? There was only two. Oh no, I killed them all. Okay, got it. I'm impressed you defeated all those creatures. I'm sure you survived the night. This guy has no faith in me. Yeah, Yotsuba seems like fun. But I don't know much about what it entails. I would like to check it out. But yeah, I learned that... Uh, I never confirmed it, but that's what I heard. And I was like, if that's the case, that's really a shame. Because I don't think Azumanga Daioh was terribly translated to anime. The biggest problem for sure is that it's it's four coma style and converting four coma into 20 minutes of footage is not easy. <laughs> I've read the entire thing. I actually own the omnibus. Like there's a full there's a huge thick ass book of Azumanga Daioh. It's just all of it. I actually own that. I don't know where it is though. So I like that one. I like that one a lot. I wa I watched it after I watched Lucky Star. I like them both a lot. But yeah, I was thinking of the cat character, Chi uh, Chio's father. I watched the dubbed as well, by the way, if you're wondering. Father's voice in the dub is really good. <laughs> it's really good.
Oh. I have heard I have heard the uh, the sub one when he talks. He's got a great voice in both of them. I like when he tells Chio to eat her tomatoes. And Chio's like, oh boy, I love tomatoes. And he's just like, I do not care if you like or dislike tomatoes. You will eat your tomatoes. <laughs> but like his expression doesn't change. He's just got that cat face on him. <laughs> yes, it's so good. Did the water and the poison bother them a bit? That's it. We must train ourselves to be as strong as glow pick. If they can do it, we can too. I'm pretty sure that no amount of training will make us impervious to fire. Hello? I'm wearing a suit that makes me impervious to fire. What about you? Chat. Do you remember the the do you remember the, the scene in the, I think it's the third year the third year summer vacation When Osaka just walks into the bedroom while Yukari sleeping With a fucking knife and is just holding it with this stupid expression on her face And Yukari wakes up and is like oh Jesus Christ and Osaka's just like oops wrong room <laughs> She just leaves what the fuck was that? She had that big old squishy smile on her. And she's like, oops, wrong room. By the way, chat, if you didn't know, uh, whenever you have a character from Osaka, the dub always turns them into a southerner. That's just how it goes. I don't make the rules. I don't make the rules, just how it be. I kind of want to watch it again, just because it's been a while. But I don't know. I think my favorite character... Stop me if you heard this one before. <laughs> I think my favorite character in that show is the short-haired, tan, tall lady with the, the canine tooth. You know. A true uh, patch, a true gambler reveals, revels in the game of life and leaves all up to fate. He came to this planet with high hopes and high stakes. Yeah, Kagura. The one who kind of looks like Tomo a little bit. She was in a different class for uh, like the first two years. But then she was, uh, they were all together in their third year. Our work doesn't end here, it's our duty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I keep thinking that's different every fucking time I go to read it. It checks so many boxes, and I have... Dig right into the night expedition, you should have some luck. Okay, well I can at least make the medicine, but I gotta find the guy first. Where is you? Where is you, brother? Where is you? Oh, there you are. I see you're the one who saved me. Well, that means I I'm still survived, so I won the battle between myself and this planet after all. I did get a little help from you, but it's not that like that matters in a survival challenge where anything goes. Okay, dude. This is uh ongoing battle happening between you and this planet. A long haul fight. You can make it hard and stay focused. Let's simplify and settle things once oh, and for all. With this, you win if you defeat more than 100 creatures indigenous to this planet. What's that meaning of such challenges? There's no meaning. Some challenges only have significance if they're meaningless. It's obvious that you possess great skill and are remarkable and are remarkably efficient and no regard for native life forms. <laughs> Kill 100. You versus plant. It's not a lot, but please accept those. I suppose you'd call it a small reward. Eight more creatures and I complete that side mission. Okay. I've almost killed 300 creatures on my time on this planet. You versus planet. Alright. That's all the, uh, leaf fellas. I figured an SOS signal from the Captain Olimar. I never thought there might still be undiscovered plants out there. Yes, this mission is going to be a dangerous one. I can feel it. The new rescue officer recruited, uh, to join our team will stay behind at HQ while we investigate. Asprey, I think. That's me! Pog me! Alright. I would like to upgrade Poochie, but you know what? I'll do it now. Yeah, I'll do it now. Might as well. Man, what should I get, chat? What should I get? Should I get Mega Rush? Even though it seems really, really broken. <laughs> do I do it? Look at that. You know what? I'm doing it. Can't stop me. Give me that. I gotta learn everything eventually anyway. This increases his damage. I need four more for that. I'm just making that charge be super stupid. It's like purple Pikmin in a box. Alright. 
One more area to do here. Mishap and pond. Watch out for those puppy blow hogs. Even glow pikmin will get blown away. All right, mishap and pond. This will be neat. This will be the last one of the night, and then we're back to a new area in the day. Okay. Yeah, that's my favorite character, for sure. I mean, I like all the characters to an extent, although Tomo definitely gets on you after a while. She kind of gets on my nerves after a while. <laughs> I feel bad for the, the girl in the glasses. I can't remember her name. She's really bad at karaoke. I'm pretty sure Tomo made her cry once. I'm, I, I can't remember if it was her or Kagura. It might have been Kagura. But Tomo made one of them cry and she felt really bad and I felt really bad. Oh, there's two Luminols to protect. Oh, shit. Hey, new blood, can you hear me? About tonight's location, you should find two luminals. That's exciting because if you protect them until morning, we can harvest two glow saps. Oh. Oh. My hypothesis is the two luminals are connected underground. What does that mean? If one breaks, neither will release glow sap. Oh, shit. There's only one of you, so this might be a good time to take advantage of Ochi's protection skills. Alright. I don't need to do that. There's, it's right here. I know what I gotta do. I know what I gotta do. Come on, come on. Yep. If I kill them now, that won't be a problem later. There you go. Creatures starting to perk up, yeah? That's fine. Lie and wait for them with your minds. Alright, brother, chill out. <laughs> Bonk. Hit the trick now. Okay. Yeah. Dig that hole out. There you go. Alright. As long as the hole is good. I see them. I see them. They're coming. Those armor guys are neat. I don't know if they can kill Pikmin. Bonk! Need a little bit in there. Come on now. They're coming. Here they come. Bonk! Yeah, I generally don't know if they can kill Pikmin or not. The sun's not as insane as I thought it was, but it's okay. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Yeah. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. They're still on that trick null. Trick null is destroyed. You dare challenge me. You dare challenge me. Oh, I'm going. Here we go. Here it comes. Get it. Get in the hole. Easy. Easy. Fantastic. There's not a single creature left. Hmm. 
No, none of them are dead. Check the Piclopedia, it says none of them have been killed by it. Maybe if it hits them into the wall, it eats them. I can't really tell, though. We can make the cure. So where do these dirt mounds go when, when nighttime ends anyway? They just, like, fall into the ground or something? Well, now I have two. I have two. But I have no one to use them on yet. There you go. Yeah, the thing is... Azuman Godayo has a lot of memorable characters, but the uh, girl in the glasses is not one of them. She always kind of feels like she just kind of like gets pulled along by a different character. You remember Tomo because she's so loud. You remember Osaka because it's just that shrimple. <laughs> she she stands out. She's very doofy. Uh, Chio, obviously, elementary schooler. Uh, I forget the name of the big girl. But she's the one who likes cats, but they don't like her. And she's a really good track runner, and she's very tall. I don't remember her name. I remember Kagura because I'm special. And the teachers, I remember Yukari's name because she annoyed the shit out of me. But I don't remember the other teacher's name. I think it was, uh, I think it was Na Naomi or Natsumi. I think it started with an end. Can't remember. Nice job of the night expeditions. Yeah. Oof, it was rough out there this time. I don't get it. Why do Luminos always well go like that? If they didn't light up, they wouldn't attract so many creatures. Mmm, well, perhaps Luminos want to draw the creatures towards them. What? But if they get hurt, they can't make glow sap. Or am I missing something here? On this world and others, there are creatures who simply don't grow, don't thrive, and don't experience danger. No matter how strange that sounds, it's quite possible Luminos are like that. They need to experience danger to thrive. Um, I guess that makes sense. Well, there you go. Now it's suddenly day 17. Nobody to cure this time. I killed 300 creatures. So let me go get my reward. Yes, hello. I'd like to report... No. I'd like to report a body. Appreciate your spirit and determination. Yes. That rewards for your determination. You definitely earned it. Defeat 1,000 creatures. Really up in the ante, aren't you, buddy? Okay. Well, sure. Sure, sure, sure. There we go. Yeah, I feel like, uh... Azuman Gadaio is good, but I, I kind of just feel like, uh... Lucky Star overshadowed it, I suppose. Not so much anymore, but back then, I felt like Lucky Star was the one that people knew about, but Azumanga Daya was like, obscure weep shit. For, to me anyway, and Lucky Star was the mainstream stuff. Jumbo Bulborb. Jumbo, that word sets an image in your mind. Being larger than others as a species means its heart is proportionately bigger too, so its devotion to its family also grows. When it savagely bites, it only does so to protect those it cares about. The most living, loving critters can sometimes also be the fiercest. Active during day and night. You're telling me this fucker is somewhere around here in daytime? Look at the size of him. He's a big boy. Glow Pikmin. No family, huh? Here you are, far from home, stranded on a strange planet with a night even more dangerous than the unforgiving day. But in that night, the faint, gentle light given off of these gloriously glowing little beams brings hope to our adventures. That shine is a beacon of light that we recognize in our hearts. Nature is a high-risk, high-reward type of environment. Luminol braves the danger, risking self-destruction to emit a light that lures creatures so it can propagate more glow pikmin using glow pellets. But is that all? Could the glow sap also be luring us? What the hell is this thing doing? Now, I knew about Lucky Star first. I had a friend who, uh, liked it. Lucky Star is so weird, though. Like... Engage. I don't want to engage that. Lucky Star is really weird because I feel like anyone... Anyone with, like, you know... <laughs> with a brain 
would watch the first episode and watch them talk about how to eat a chocolate cornet for like seven minutes and just not watch it anymore. And I'd be like, yeah, you're right. You're right. You, if that, if you stop there, then you're, you, I would understand. But the show definitely got more entertaining to me. Also, it's one of those shows that I only watch the dub of because I, I, I it's just how I live. That's how I've chosen to live my life. Hmm. I like Lucky Star a lot. It's just the first episode is extremely... <laughs> it's hard to sit through. Konata is such... Such a character, man. How else do I even say it? Konata Izumi. That that character. That 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 character was that character was a weeb. That character was a weeb. And a lot of a lot of new age weebs probably really related to her. She got was probably really popular. I wonder how popular she was back in like the high. Oh neat! Look at this. There's the pearly clam clam. Those fish? Those guys are in Pikmin 3. This area is really pretty. Alright. Looks like we're gonna need blue Pikmin. Suggested Pikmin. Oh, wow. Oh, my skin is still peeling so badly. The sunburn a week ago. Uh, give me, yeah, just give me the, give me thirty of each. Oh, even the music is nice and calm. Blossoming dunes. We gotta look at the map. Okay, how do we want to approach this? Wow. Uh, what do you think, chat? Do we climb this big mountain? Or do we go around the beaches? I kind of feel like climbing this mountain would be fun. But I'm missing a Pikmin. Tight. That might be important for that. Beaches. You want to do the beaches? So you want to go this way? This way. Oh, I see Olmar. This guy's from Pikmin 3 as well. Yeah. He's like a pond skater. Okay. Wow, immediately... Wait, what? Why? Why? Why, Why even bother? What? <laughs> Why even bother? Why build a bridge there? Little bro's like right here. Is that Le it's that leafling again? And the figure lying down over there might just be our pilot. Wow, he's right there, dude. This is no joke. They can be turned to a leafling. What are you waiting for, newbie? Hurry up and save them. No, it's not for the Pikmin because this particular cave doesn't care about the Pikmin. Like you don't bring them in with you. So there's no reason for that bridge to be there. Yellow Pikmin only. Dandori Castle. Pikmin cannot join you. See? You see what I mean? There's that bridge has no purpose for existing. <laughs> there's no reason. Ooh, Dandori Battle Level 3. Yellow Pikmin are great at digging, but not very good at fighting. I have been waiting for you. I have new rule that I will use to test you. I will explain it in time. Let us begin. Okay. Yo, peckish aristo crab. Bro. Boys are stuck in a bubble. Murder. 
There you go. Okay. There you go. Gotcha! This is a mystery capsule. As you know, Don Dory is part luck. This item a mystery. You cannot know what it'll emerge from his death. Yeah, it's like the cherries. <laughs> if you use these items, your Don Dory will succeed. Pick up many, use many. I know exactly what this is, yep. Oh, you picked them up yourself. Yep, falling rocks. Yep, that's just like it. Yep. Oh, look at the size of those. Itty bitty babies. I got it. Give me that. What's that do? I think it just it teleported him. Drop that. Where'd my Pikmin go? Where'd my Pikmin go? Okay. What we got here? Gas. Yes. I I don't know what happened, but I just gassed him. What the fuck? Drop that. Thanks for killing it, though, jackass. Bonk. No, that's mine. Uh, that's mine, dog. Okay. Yeah, they're dead. Okay. What we got now? More gas. Oh! This is Golden Sniffer. Sniffer! You don't need a Pikmin to get a ball. Oh. It is heavy, it is high, value is high. A rare treasure indeed. If you can collect this, it will carry you closer to victory. Okay, okay. Where's that? Where's that? Oh, it's up in the corner. Okay. That's a familiar sight. Okay. He's got it. Transport that golden sniffer. I got it. Two minutes left. Gotta outbeat, outpace them. There you go. Take that shit. That's mine. Look at that. Rocks. Ooh. Got him. Golden sniffer collected. Look at that. Now we're winning. Gas him. I need three more. Dondori greatness will be mine. Uh, I seem to be winning pretty uh, convincingly, I'd say. One minute left. Okay. Bonk. Yeah! Oh. Collected a bonus fine. Yeah, I have. His dog is dead. Give me that, please. 30 seconds left. But well, this isn't so bad. 
If anything, the additional mechanics make it easier to, to bullshit the AI. Drop some rocks on him. Those are babies, man. Baby rocks. Game's over. I win. That's it. GG. 150 point lead. There you go. Again, you have shown mastery in the Ida Don Dory. I leave the rest to you. Hmm, off they go again. Thankfully, we recover the castaway safe and sound. Impressive victory. Stomped him. That was so early, though. He was, like, right at the start of the damn thing. Oh, maybe you need the bridge to take this guy back. No, you don't. No, you don't. You can just drag him through the water. That'll be fine. Right? Surely I can drag this dumbass through the water with my blue Pikmin. Surely. Come on. Come on. Show some spirit. Is he... He's not gonna drown, right? He's not gonna drown. See, he's fine. We got a plant and a bridge, so we're going this way no matter what. Okay. Got a hole. Pick that up. Bonk. Absolutely insane, man. Do you think you can solo this game with Ochi? Like, without using Pikmin and only Ochi, you think you can solo the game? <laughs> I'm checking the Yeti info of the Leafling you secured at this point. It's just part of my routine. Error. <laughs> Nothing. Alright, that's what energy you find in currently curing these folks. Like, you can get Ochi to do things if you have the right upgrades. So if you get capped, if you get, uh, if you find crewmates in a certain order... Okay. If you find crewmates in a certain order and upgrade his skills, you can backtrack for others, right? Kind of makes you wonder. There you go. That's a lot of raw material. I don't think I can do anything else here. Oh, I bet I can cheese the shit out of that. Hold on, chat. I can't go that way. So the only way to go is this way. Unless I cheese the shit out of that plant. Or I can just walk around it. I, I can just walk around it. Walk around it, Dylan. Just fucking walk around it, you stupid asshole. Please don't try and sit there and get the un spend a whole day getting that one onion again. Don't do it. We've seen it once. We don't need to see it ever again. Okay, invisible chat member. I will oblige. I will oblige. Where are those Pikmin going, by the way? Yeah, what are these boys doing? There's not- Oh, there's two more, that's why. They were going back for more. Okay. You want me to do it? It didn't work. Alright, I'm- I'm gonna play by- I'm gonna play by the rules. Oh, I got one over there. I got him. He's stuck over there. He can't pull it. I gotta go save him. I gotta go save him. No, he's fine. I'll get him. Because, uh, I, all I have to do is go over here and go around the water. Like this. That's a crawl mat, isn't it? Is that totally bloister? It is a crawl mat, yep. Totally bloister. Some kind of fish. Yeah. What 
motherfucker spewed goo. I got it. I got it, I got it, I got it. Got a little bulby. Come on. Good job, team. Alright, let's get this guy. Nope. I don't want to freeze him to death, you know? It's cheating. I gotta say, man, the combination of Charge and Ice Pikmin is kind of insane. <laughs> it's, it's kind of insane. There we go. Found my boy. There's a crab over there. Oh, there's a whole pathway network up behind him. Is he on a base spot? Oh, he is, actually. No, he isn't. He isn't on a base spot. Alright. Let's not worry about the crab for now. Let's harvest the bodies. I gotta see what this new fish is. I've never seen this enemy before. He's brand new, as far as I'm concerned. Oh. Come on, boys. You can't freeze the water no matter how much you wanna. Bonk. Get him. Alright. Damn. Got an arm on that one. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, okay. Get this fish. Come here, come here, come here. Eight left. That's fine. Can't even get 85. Shit. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I got it. Just do a little, uh. Just do a little leg work while I wait. The ice boys. There you go. Light work, baby. Is that the. Oh, yeah. Looks like it is. Looks like it is. Hmm. Right. Yeah, that makes sense. Bring it home. Just don't walk into the crab territory, I suppose. Oh, no, boys. 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 Yo. Yo, there's low tide? Oh, wow. Did the water just... The tide appears to ebb in the afternoon. That'll make it a lot easier to explore now. Oh, that's cool. That's cool right there. That's omega cool. Look at that. Now the water's down. Oh, so that's why you need the bridge. No, you don't. Never mind. You don't need the bridge at all. Because it's still... There's a fuck... There's a path right there. You don't need it. It doesn't matter. It's completely and utterly pointless. <laughs> it made me experience low tide. <laughs> Chat. Bubble Buddy killed a man. Did you know that? It's not so funny anymore, is it? You gotta think about this. Wow. 100! Okay. How about I smash it to fucking pieces then? I can't even get 100 Pippin on the field. I, you know, I could do that. Realistically speaking. Pick that up, would you? The hell is this? 27 boys. I'm going back over here. With the golf ball. Alright, taking a look around. 33 of those. 
I need them. Oh, there's a hole in the water. Okay. There you go. I bet I can solo this crab. My dog! My dog! He's actually kind of strong. I'll be back. You hear me, you son of a bitch? I'll be back. That crab battle will be mine. Did I just fall off the dog? I, I did. Alright. Let's go get the dog. Oh. I can't even get a hundred Pikmin yet, which leads me to believe I'll find four Unyachts. I bet this guy's gonna have an Unyacht. Lemon. I forgot there were water geysers. Okay. There. No water anymore. Oh, there's a hole. Okay. New cave. We're fine. This crab fell is so weird. It's just an onion. Seven. So we got that one cleared. We got the materials up there. I guess we'll just go into it and have that crab stuff be done with, right? Okay. I need to wait until... How can I tell? Let's see. How can I tell? How can I tell? They're right there. Okay. Let's give it a moment. I need to get the, I need the crab to go in the onion, and I need the lemon to go in the, the beagle. And then I'll hit it. <clears throat> Why is there a treasure, like, right next to me? Oh, it's that. That's why. Dude, I've found like three caves already. I see the lemon. I see the lemon. I see the crab. I see them. The caves picked up on the radar too. Oh. There's a treasure. I see the crab. I see him. He's going. Give me a second. He's in. Alright, we're good. What do we got? Sub-Zero Sauna. The temperature keeps dropping the further I dive underground. It's as if I'm in a sauna. I'm in a sauna, but the air is stifling and cold instead of hot. My spacesuit protects me, but the Pikmin keeps shivering. I wonder if there's a way I can warm them up down here. There's wild Pikmin. Okay. Yeah, okay. Let's do it. 30-30. Cheerbo time. Self-proclaimed free thinkers. When... Ice is mentioned. I know how you people are. I know how you people are. You think you're so smart. But all it takes is some... All it takes is one single number. And you motherfuckers just fly off the rails. That's the best part about Twitch chat. Sniffer extraordinaire. I'm training modes to track a variety of scents. You can not only sniff out missing parts, it's dominoes, pick or whatever type I specify. Oh, I think I already read that one, did I not? It's sticky. Okay, they're gonna be sh yeah, they're gonna be shitting those, so they're important. What the hell is that? Is that a cold spewer? I don't know, hurry up and call them back to you. Oh, it's poison. Oh, there must be white Pikmin in here.
There's a there's an ice frog over there. That frog is frozen. Yo, it can't be frozen. That's its gimmick. Yeah! Yeah, there they are. The white lads. The ice pikmin are the main focus in here, so I gotta use the, uh... I gotta use the blues. There they are. Yep. White Pikmin this time. I can't wait to find out what qualities these little guys have. The rare White Pikmin come from white candy pop that bloom in caves. They're small and notably fast on their feet, but their attacks are lacking. They imbued with enough poison to be lethal to a bull war. These wily Pikmin are resistant to poisonous gas themselves. Poison? I'm sure they aren't a threat to us, but I suggest you handle them with care. Yeah, this is the White Pikmin. These guys are dangerous. Well, not dangerous. That they're annoying, I suppose. They're a little annoying. Because if you lose them... If you lose them, it's hard to replace them. They're not as important as, uh... Yellow Pikmin, though. Or, uh, sorry, Purple Pikmin. So let it freeze, let it freeze, let it freeze, let it freeze. Okay. Walls down, nice. 15 of those. Free material. There we go, okay. Hmm. I think it's funny. I think it's funny how Twitch chat can be a collective over some of the stupidest things. <laughs> Makes me laugh. There we go. Actually, streamer, it's like you get you get the you get someone who's hyper intelligent, then you get the people who think they're hyper intelligent, but then everybody comes together when I say the number nine, or when I mention cold temperatures. Everybody just comes together. It's impressive, really. Bro. Frozen solid. Support thing frozen? Try the whistle, see if it'll still respond. Ow. The boys are fine. Yeah, the boys are fine, don't worry. Well, there you go. Everybody a smart lad until the pain song plays. I like that in Vinny's chat as well. When goblin related things just kind of pop up. And then the entire chat just spams the thrusting goblin emote. And I'm like... Yeah, this is what we as a society should be doing. We as a collective. Every emote's got that. They all do that. Well-adjusted society members, not on your life. <laughs> also, the bouncing, the bouncing Fumo emote is also just amazing. When you when you watch it bob back and forth like that. Oh shit, it's getting cold. My screen has gotten icy. Come on. Frost on the lens must be pretty cold. Sorry, I'm, I'm like, uh, I've been hard conditioned to fear that sound. Can I break that? I can't. Oh. Chilly. Oh, there's that box. Okay. Yeah, when I hear that sound, I think of, uh... I think we're on water. Oh, we are, yeah. Cool fixed camera angle. 
Bro, don't do that to me. <laughs> Bro. Let's just get that out of the way. Can't, uh, do anything about those. I can't hit the switch either. I gotta turn the cold off. More whites? Okay. Hmm. If the dog gets squished, everyone dies. Nah. Nah. Nah, you, you're, you're lying. You're, you're a liar. There's no way they'd do that. Okay, but what happens if the dog jumps off a pit? Does everyone die with him? Because he teleports. I guess I am a walking, uh... I need to... Oh, jeez. Everyone's fine if he jumps. Oh, shit. Just a snowball. Some ice boys. Okay. Are you okay? What's wrong? Hold up, the trick been shivering from the cold. There must be something we can do for it. Rouse them with a whistle. Maybe they jump on Ochi, they'll warm up. But what can make them so cold down here in the first place? Oh shit. Oh, the boys are cold. Oh, bad idea. Sorry, right, we'll get this. We'll get this sorted. Okay, it's just a snowball. It's okay. It's just a snowball. They're okay. It's just a snowball. What the hell am I gonna do about this? Stop being cold. Don't be chilly. This is an interesting gimmick. I gotta find the source of the cold. I found the source of the cold. At least when they're attacking things, they stay warm. I think. That's not the source of the cold. I gotta warm the boys up before they freeze to death. That's it. Get in there. The ice is about to melt. Ochi. Come here. Oh, come here. Yeah, come here. Alright. Doggy is on. Okay, they do eat your Pikmin. They didn't seem that scary. Get up, brother. Get on my back. Okay, we're fine. Everything is now thawed out. Now, get the puzzle piece and the bodies. Alright. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Okay. Give me that. What that? I don't give a shit. Oh my god. Boys! 
Boys, 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 boys. Boys, 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 boys. What was you thinking? What was you thinking with this one? Just walk around! Check the ID info. Sheba, founder of Alien Academy's Planetary Science Club. The student is determined to see the stars with her friends. You put the name of the school and clubs to be one of the students that came with the teacher to be rescued. Imagine being stranded like this at such a young age. Poor thing must have been downright terrified. Alright. Let's, uh... Let's do that again, shall we? Now, the enemy doesn't seem to give a shit. Oi. Now he gives a shit. Get moving! Get the material. What's the problem, team? What's the problem? What the, the fuck just happened? Dude. I got door stucked. <laughs> Actually got door stuck. Well, you know what they say. Didn't realize the ice would have so much more like to it. And also these enemies are cold resistant, so you can't freeze cheese them. Which is definitely good. That's definitely a good thing. Because if you could freeze cheese them... If you could freeze cheese everything in this game, there would not be difficulty to be found in this game. ID badge. Yeah. Voyage log. Caught cold. It was nearly quiet earlier and I turned around and said the pigment were all just standing and trembling. Perhaps the cold temperature put them in that state because even the sound of my whistle only briefly alleviated the issue. I must get to the root of this. I don't know if they die, but having them just get stunned is probably not in your best interest. Okay. So level 2 is done. So when these materials are done transporting and that body's good, we're done. Okay. Alright, let's go. Neat level. Alright. Ochi's warm, so it's okay. But I couldn't use Ochi through the fence because he's too thick. Puppy is too thick. He cannot fit. I like the game a lot. I enjoy it a lot. I'm curious as to how the end game stuff will get. Because Pikmin... Pikmin, despite its cute uh, exterior, can be pretty fucking mean if it wants to be. And it usually shows that off in the post-game or end-game stuff. That's when it really starts to... Oh my god. Oh. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. I... That's a new one. It's okay, he doesn't see me. He doesn't see me. He doesn't see me. He doesn't see me. It's alright, he probably only fires snowballs. What? He's an Omega Sucker. I see. He takes the Omega Big Suck. Oh, I see. Well, this is not hard. Yeah. Is 
Is it my fault for playing like this, or is it the game's fault for allowing me to play like this? Hmm. I wonder. Because, you know? Yo, the thing core! Running the ID now. And she's not one from the task force. Mugs. Popular for her brave reporting style. She was approached by director to work on a project of a strange new planet. Huh? Wait just a minute. That face is so very familiar. Oh, I know who this is. She's a popular television reporter. I've long been an admirer of her work. But hold on. What's she doing here? What? So you're a big fan, Russ. Yeah, honestly. The armor cannon beetle's biggest issue as a boss is that it's not very difficult when it's alone. And it's... Yeah, it's always ended up ends up alone because Well, it's considered a boss enemy, but It's one of the easier ones to solve I suppose and this one's not really an exception you get behind it you attack its ass bada bing bada boom It just would have taken longer if it didn't charge it. Yeah still a cool design, but that is a little that's a little unfortunate but that's just the nature of that specific creature. There are a lot of creatures in the game that are not too difficult to take out alone. But what makes them scary is when other creatures are around them and disrupt the flow of combat and allow them a cheap hit. But bosses don't often do that. So to have a tough boss... A tough boss means you need a... You need them to be formidable. But not really rely on the antics of the rest of the arena to get away with their bullshit. As you look at Pikmin 2 bosses, pretty much all of them, I think only like the spiders are the ones that are like the most dangerous alone because you have to wait to attack them anyway. Emperor's Bulblax isn't too bad. Even when she starts shitting out kids, when you get up there, it's not really an issue anymore. Because she'll roll over them and kill them, and it's like, okay, whatever. Because she can't attack herself. Contemplation Station, Left Edge Memory Fragment, True Goo, and Disguise Delicacy again. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, the Cold Stun would have been a problem. You are right about that. But I, his aggro range was quite small, so I took everything out, and then I was fine. So, there was that to take into account. Everything you need, or everything about the boss fights needs to kind of work for that. I'm thinking, just thinking of Pikmin 2, where a lot of the bosses are not too rough alone. That's why the later game, the post-game stuff, has those bosses show up in areas. It has those bosses sh Oh, what the fuck? Right, I forgot time still does move. Drink the goo. Alright. Good first day. Time still does move when you're in caves, just not by very much. Hmm. It makes more sense that time doesn't stop, but moving at one-sixth the speed of normal time still doesn't actually make that much sense. But it's it's whatever. You don't even notice it. I, I noticed it there because it was on the countdown. I actually completely forgot that was a thing. Alright, pretty good. Oh, goodness gracious. Hmm. <clears throat> I was trying to think of other bosses. Man at Lags is the Man at Lags is a boss that can fuck you up if you're not uh, aware of how it works. He, but he's a spider, so I guess I already designated the spiders as like the Snaggrits aren't too bad. They can get some cheap shots. They can get some cheap shots, but the Snaggrits uh, are manageable. The Polita Snaggrits a little scary though, just because he can move towards you. But if you fight him without ish like things around you. There's definitely, there's a method to the madness for a lot of bosses. Face sprinkler, 
Fishy bed, lamp of inspiration, mock bottom. Even the crawl mad, that crazy enemy, has a trick to it that can kill it really fast. That's interesting. So you press X or expect them to charge. Charging horse seems a very useful piece of gear. Yes, the power of science is nothing to scoff at. It makes all things possible. See, if you change the frequency like this, now you can make anyone charge. Let me show you. What's happening? My body, it's like it's moving all by itself. Stop. Stop that right now. What do you think you're doing, Russ? I was just showing you how you use it in case of an emergency. I will do everything in my power to make sure that emergency never ever occurs. Bro, he can control other humans. Insane. Do you think time actually ends when you're underground and you're forced to come up? I never even thought of that. When I got up there, time was on its countdown, so I didn't have much time down there, if that was the case. Alright, well this guy's gonna get cured, because I have two extra goos. Okay. Yes, Captain. Guess when it shoots you out, it just ends. Only goes to countdown. Oh, okay. Bernard! Bernard, a veteran pilot who start, started in the private sector before joining the rescue corps. She's always bring with optimism. I got him. We found and cured the pilot Bernard. The rescue corps have been reunited. Look at this cool guy. Bernard, I'm pleased to see that you are back on your feet. Uh, are you sure it's okay for you to be up and about already? Play it cool, Dingo. Play it cool. I appreciate your concern, Dingo, but I am good to go! It's strange. Since losing my leaves, I feel as light as a feather. Now the next time I get abandoned in a cave, I should be able to escape all on my own. Ha! Ha ha! What are you trying to say? So he's mad at me for running after all. Ah, oh, nothing! Just a little joke! Good, good. Finally, all the members of the rescue corps are together again. I hereby reinstate our primary mission, the rescue of Captain Olimar. Copy that! Wow, where'd they find a rookie like you? So unique! You must be the secret weapon the Captain's been talking about. Thank you very much for saving me. Excuse me, Captain, this may pertain to the subject of a certain Captain Olimar's whereabouts. I found a logbook entry that caught my interest. Why does he yell words like that? The last push. At long last, my goal to collect all the la lost as the stop parts is nearly complete. According to the ship's radar, the remaining pieces are inside a giant structure. My life support system is reaching its limit. One last push now. The house. Wait, could that mean? While searching for our newly restored radar, we received a very strong SOS signal from inside a large structure. It must be coming from Captain Olimar. Commendable work. As always, the rest is up to you, as for your old chief. Officers, do your stations, please. Hmm. What? Has Ochi's tail always been so green? No, it hasn't. No, what happened to your tail, Ochi? It was a fuzzball, and now it's a leaf. Talk to me. I must know. We got stuff in here. Armored cannon larva. Yeah. This little creature will spew a giant stone ball, some call it Odama, when it feels threatened. A reliable cultural document assures me similar items we use as weapons in ancient wars. Maybe this creature is using it the same way to fight for the war or for its survival. Arctic cannon larva. Whether or not there's snow on the ground and the surprising sweetie comes around, you can have a snowball fight any time. But don't expect it to go easy on you. You're in for one-sided defensive battle and you might end up looking like a snowman by the end. Arctic cannon beetle. The design on this thing is sweet. A beautiful armored bug that sparkles like a diamond. The sight of it's busily tromping along the way it sucks in air and spews out snowballs. Everything about it is remarkable. While standing transfixed by a stunning appearance, you'll end up covered in the snow for sure. I'm sure that thing can kill you. Ice blown dweevil. Achoo! It's always important to keep your cool, but my proximity to this frosty darling may be making me a bit too cold. Just one blow from this critter as it skitters about its icy long legs is quite chilling indeed. Skeeter's gate. Clean water is a necessity for a water walking sweetheart, and a lot of it at that. In water soiled oils, detergents, other pollutants, it could lose the surface tension that supports its specially evolved feet and drown. This is an extraordinary creature that could only exist on such a water rich planet. That means the water here is nice. Chili hop. Slick and bulbous with refreshingly frank a refreshingly frank face. That's one 
Classic Hopper. When it lands after jumping, it spills out cold air all around it. Mischievous and cool. This little fella needs to leave some personality for the rest of us. Puckering Blinu. Blinu. This form a group and then swim gracefully along together as though joined in an underwater dance. Are they a family or traveling as a school? It might be enlightening to watch them with a submersible camera. Very quietly so they don't notice. Prickle Puff. Oh, it's an er I hit the wrong button. Shit! Honey. Fuck your A and B button Sorry. position on this pro controller. Just make it like the Xbox controller. Stop making me have to remember which button does what, please. I beg you. Don't do it to me anymore. Monka. To watch it swim dreamingly along and spot it again walking plip plop in tidal flats. The contrast is so great I can only admire its adaptability. But don't be drawn by its cute round little peepers. Much like a rose, the prickle pup has very sharp thorns. It's alright, he just stabs you. Get used to it. Aristocrab offspring. It pokes its little eyes just out a bit of the sand and stays very still, waiting patiently for us to come by. You do we know they're hiding there, it's best to act surprised and give them a good shout of alarm. It's the best way to help them feel successful in their endeavors. Peckish Aristo Crab. Click, click, click goes the crab's pincer as it tries to impress other crabs. The crab with the biggest claw will be the most popular. Being popular means not having to work as hard to claw their way to the top of the crustacean hierarchy. The natural world is a lot like our world in that way. Hermit Crawl Mad. Here we have one of the cleverest creatures. There's many different nest holes, all connected below ground. Using this network, it can move from hole to hole to sneak up on prey and evade predators. A smart little darling indeed. I think he likes Arby's. Toady Bloister. I love this guy's face. It's like a blobfish. Cute little marble-like eyes, a smooth undulating body, a big curvy mouth, a tongue that extends and separates into six parts, gills like fruit from a plant. Sit a moment and take it all in. Sometimes it's fun to simply appreciate how a creature that can do so much damage can still be such an adorable addition to our universe. These tiny white Pikmin can uh, can dart about quite swiftly. Their bold red eyes are as charming as they are startling. Like a flower has sharp thorns, these cute little ones possess a potent poison. Such smart small critters need to be tough to survive. It's a lot of creatures. This tongue is freaky in this game. This tongue is freaky in Pikmin too. It's got like five notches. Freako mode. Chrysanthemum is very scary. Puzzle piece. Do I see a face? Is this a picture fragment? Is that part of a smile? I see? No, it couldn't be, or could it? Oh my, I feel like it's going to see whatever it is in my dreams. Mock bottom. What's most impressive about this fruit is the way it's sweet in both flavor and aroma. Meanwhile, it's pretty pinkish orange color is lovely to behold. Of course, one can ignore the shapely curves reminiscent of... A uh, good man or sick kid, I say no more. Suffice to say, the mock bottom is quite a sensory experience. What's that look like? Hmm? <laughs> That's right, we have an emote for that right there. That's him in the flesh. You think this is like a demonetized? Yeah, that's him right there. Face sprinkler. The heart squeezing excitement one feels upon falling in love the first time is not so different from the jaw clenching sal sal salivation that occurs when one takes the first bite, a taste of this fruit. I dare say both experiences are thrilling, if just a touch painful. It is said that, that life first came from the sea, so it's no surprise that we are so deeply connected to water. Thus, this bed with its fish-shaped design is meant to lull one to sleep with visions of floating. Just lay down and let your dreams wash over you. We all float down here, Douglas. Some say this hue is an absence of all color. Others say, in fact, of all colors combined. Oh, I, for one, believe both are true. No, I don't know the whys and hows of it. But I do know that this color goes nicely with every other color out there, and that must mean something. This lamp is the very definition of inspiring, with the figure of a proud woman holding a torch on high. It not only lights up a room with its glow, but it lights up the spirits of those who gaze upon it. I can't look closer. There's a beating heart in there. 
you. Chat, that's a that's that's banned. Banned. That's okay. Art art gets a pass. Art gets a pass. It's okay. That's it's in the rules. Art is okay for that. It's an Animal Crossing too. When one comes upon this landmark, one can't help but contemplate many things. First, what is this figure contemplating? Moreover, what should I be contemplating? Open your mind to big questions like these, and you'll be sure to contemplate great things. Okay, just don't draw attention to it. If you draw attention to it, that's how you lose. Alright. Grr, that director, I can't believe I let him drag me out here. We'll film a new project, he says. It'll be amazing, he says. Please, we get here and the spaceship crashes? Seriously? I mean, sure, it'll make for great television. Ugh, but still, even though I wanted to start shooting footage, I don't have a crew because my crew is still stranded. Oh, I'm sorry, I went off the script there for a second. Wait, aren't you the one who rescued me? Okay, well, I'm Muggs. You might know me from television. I'm a reporter. Oh, hey, I just had a brilliant idea. Since you had a knack for rescuing folks, could you look for the rest of my TV crew, too? You'll be handsomely rewarded. Okay. Wasn't it Vice City that had the beating heart and the Statue of Liberty? GTA had a lot of cool Easter eggs. Back when Rockstar was actually cool. And now? Now things are different. You don't want to save me, right? Wow, thanks so much. I'm Sheba from the Alien Academy. I'm here on the Uncharted Planet tour with my Planetary Science Club. I won the tickets in the neighborhood raffle, but mm. we were about to land in the spaceship when haywire. There's an emergency evacuation and everything. Why does every ship in this game crash? It's something about this planet, I guess. Yo, huh? Hey, you're that rookie I've been hearing all about, right? Who am I thankful for? You. I'm Bernard, pilot of the one and only SS Shepard. I'm deeply pleased to meet you. Also relieved to see that you are just as bright as the captain said. Hmm. Ooh. Well, I had leaves on the brain. My head couldn't stop thinking about Don Dory. So listen, I need your help. You need to save everyone who got leaf leafified like me. Seriously, every last one. It's no small thing, I know, but there are rewards in it for you. Believe me, I picked up a whole lot of raw materials. I mean it. I'm counting on you, okay? Good luck! Haha, <laughs> you rescued that many already? Nicely done, rookie. I got six of them. Yes. Because you come with six. You're the sixth one, aren't you? You certainly deserve that reward and more. Keep up the amazing work. Nice. Okay. There's so many things to do. Okay. ID badges. Bernard. Rescue journal. So soon, right? Welcome new rescue officers. How did that happen? That is, we officially decided to add rescue pups to the team. We may not be able to exchange words with our canine partners, but we can build trust and understanding through careful training. I'm certain the history books will remember this acute sense of smell that's revolutionizing our work. Something's been on my mind lately. Do my rescue officers have enough responsibility and autonomy? Is there something I should be doing differently? I worry. I can't stop worrying. Am I doing everything I should be as their captain? I don't believe I've ever seen a space dog like Moss before. First of all, she's huge, but she also has an adorable leaf at the tip of her tail. She seems to get on quite well with the Pikmin. I can't help but wonder if there's some kind of connection between them. I don't know. The last push ship. Well, he's got more rewards. Interesting, interesting. Your Dondori skills are becoming second nature. Well, there you go. You earned it. Get gold in all battles. All right. New stuff? Just love how science technology makes the impossible possible. What you got, brother? Sniff saver. Oh, she's keen. Olfactory instincts leave invulnerable to poisonous aromas, but science can dissolve those toxins. Sniffa! Okay. Immune to poison. Very good. That's all I need. There we go. Okay. You always get him from that specific match, and Dingo will pick him out to cure. Oh, okay. 
Probably reassemble. Despite the delays in combat, it's just we can't be nothing but successful. Well, we're not going there yet. Home. Heroes hide away. So give me a chance to Captain Omar is here. Keep an eye out for him as you explore. Yeah, it's cool and all, but uh serene shores. Goodbye. Twenty-seven percent done here already in one day. It's pretty good. Alright. Chat, I need to go I need to go get some water because my body is craving a big sippy. Like right now. So you give me a second. I gotta pause the game and I gotta go get some water. If only it was loud! Hmm. Okay. Give me a second, chat. I'll be right back. Vod watchers skip five, five T seconds. Hey, I just got here. Is this, uh, is this guy ever gonna come back or what? I don't know. Maybe he'll be back later. I, I have, I had to take a piss. I walked by the bathroom and I was like, wait. And then I, I took a piss. Hmm. All right, chat. Oh. Right. Snack for Moss. Since the first time I shared a scrummy bone with Moss when she was acting hungry, she wagged her tail furiously and starts begging as soon as I open up my bag of space food. Delightful to watch as long as our food supplies last. Scrummy bone. All right. <clears throat> Let's go to that cave that I can see right over there. You see it? We're gonna go do that one right there. Which I bet I can't even get on without going around. There's the watermelon. Oh, it's like so close. She's so close. Oh, she can do it. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. I probably can't go in this cave until the tide's down. Huh. 
Can I not go in here? Oh no, I can. And Oh. Oh. Oh god. <laughs> Shortly into my explorations, a loud bang echoed throughout the cave, my memory being clouded by fear, but I do recall that there was nothing I could do with the blue pigment I brought with me, and I ran away in desperation. The rest is a mystery. Holy fuck. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. No way. Hmm. Oh, we're going in. This is gonna be weird. I guess maybe it would have been smarter to wait. It might have been smarter to wait. Because then I could bring more Pikmin types in. Okay. You can only watch. <laughs> Alright. There's the way forward. <laughs> okay. Is that a, a lock? I gotta lower the bars. the wrong button. Come on, come on. Alright, they're working. They're working on it, they're working on it. Can't do anything about that. This is the best I can do. God, I hear the music. I didn't even see that. Pick it up. Come on. He's getting closer. I know he's getting closer. <laughs> no, the entrance is underwater, but when the tide went down, it... Oh, wait. It was still in the water, wasn't it? It has the same music as uh, Subterranean Castle. Fuck, I can't believe this exists. I'm so glad this exists in the game. And I love how they teased it with that, that, that image too. That's so good.
Yeah, it's just a bunch of elements, but you can only enter with blue Pikmin. Boldman is supposed to exist. I have everything on the floor, so now it's just grab some material if I can. Don't worry, it'll give me a cutscene when he comes down the first time. And I know you want to see him for the first time. And if he gets crushed, all my Pikmin die! I just recalled some informations I learned. <laughs> Can I get the main mission thing out of there? I know what my main mission is. I don't care about it right now. Can you stop showing me it? Our chat, do we wait for him? He does drop. That's the whole gimmick. The gimmick is if you take too long on the floor, he comes down and rolls around. And the game's just like, uh, what is that? You cannot do anything to that. Run. So you have to get to the bottom. He only spawned for floor one. Gosh, something just dropped from above. What is that thing? I can see it, but I'm not picking up any signs of life. I hope this will all make sense after I check the log. The non-existent entity. Bomb rocks show no sign of working against this creature. Never mind Pikmin attacks. Does this body not actually exist in this dimension? Maybe if I hit it with a gravitational wave, the dimensions will converge and it will show itself. But is that possible? Its body might not exist in this dimension. How is that possible? So a physical attack could have no impact at all. What do we do? Well, let me think. I suggest you go with my favorite battle strategy and just run away while you can. Holy fuck, dude. I'm- I'm so glad they brought this guy back. <laughs> he deserved to come back after the shit he did in Pikmin 2. He deserved to come back. You can only watch. <laughs> Some people got to experience that for the first time sometime last month when they bought Pikmin 2 on the Switch. It really is an experience when you get hit by that for the first time in your life. Fuck, it makes the submerged castle scary. Alright. I'm glad he's back. I love- I love care, uh, enemies like that. I love enemies like that a lot. The bulwark's just awake. That's fine. Oh. Bonk. Oh. Get on the mushroom. Finish the job. This is a this is the layout. Wow, this is actually the layout of the of the thing. No joke. That's a clam plant. Yep. Okay. Boys! Did you not hear me? Fucking listen to the whistle! That's why I whistle! He didn't listen! God, that was 14 Pikmin that fucker just ate.
Granted, that's partially my fault, but at the same time, I you could see the whistle on them. You could see it, and they just didn't do anything. Alright. Not gonna worry about carrying the core. Oh. Yeah, not gonna worry about carrying the corpses. We're just gonna get the treasure. <clears throat> that whistle thing is more of a hindrance than a help, I find. When you whistle them and you have to kind of like put some more gas into it for them to actually respond. It's it's not as good. It's not as, it's not as helpful as it, as it should be. It's honestly more obnoxious than anything. Get that up. That should be everything in there. The cherry tomatoes. Let's see. 50%. He should be the other half of that. Okay. Quiche. A member of the Planetary Science Club at Allen Academy believes the stars are inextricably linked to the ore she collects. A Lion Academy, Planetary Science Cloud, one of the students traveling with the teachers. Maybe more of them out there. That's annoying. I lost 14 Pikmin to a fucking clam, dude. A clam! Can you believe that shit? How am I gonna how am I gonna how am I gonna tell this one to the boys? I'm gonna talk about Pikmin with the boys. And tell them about how I lost a Pikmin. I lost 14 Pikmin to a fucking enemy that doesn't move. That's just Oh, man, that, you can't bring that up at the country club. Oh my god, there's more. Ochi? Fine, now. Fine, now, go. I didn't even consider the fact that I could jump. I don't really like it for the exact reason you just saw there, where I went for extra damage and I whistled and they did not give a shit and then they died and 14 of them got chompied. That's a big number, especially considering I can't really replenish that number in here. Now granted, it's not the worst thing in the world. I still have 40 Pikmin and I can, I can move with this, but it is pretty obnoxious that that happened in general. Could use some glow. Yeah, yeah, I could pop some glow, but there's wild Pikmin in here, so I'll, I'll, I'll refresh the numbers. Obviously, the purple Pikmin are gonna be at the end, but it said there were two types of, of, uh... There were two types of wild Pikmin in here I haven't seen yet. So, we'll see. Alright, is that everything? That's 100%. Okay. And that's 40%, so there should be five floors or so, right? Uh, I I don't remember when I last played three. Three is more of a haze than anything. I played so much one and two. What the hell is that? That's electric. Wait, yeah, beat the shit out of it. That's that's electricity. I was like, what is that? I knew immediately what it was. Yo, it's a wog! Yep. Good. Working fast. Sparky. Okay, I'm just gonna get this jealous mite. Bonk. He can squeeze through that. Oh, I did 
the jump on. He's fine. He's fine. Yeah, he's fine, see? Base can be moved here. What? Oh, you're an asshole. Gassy. Damn, he fell. Oh, they're right back on. I thought he was dead. Alright, bring the boys back over here. There we go. Tough shit, Mr. Spider. Okay. Bring it in. It's all part of the plan. It's gonna hit him. Wow. Okay. Where'd the other ones go? Okay, get that. Kind of risky to go for eggs right now, but whatever. Okay. It's the old base. I don't know where the Pikmin I'm missing are at. That's the. It's kind of the problem because if you know, if the guy, oh, they're trying to lift that. If the guy comes down. And he just, you know, gets a little uh, intimate with his road roller. Then we're in trouble. Well, that's 66. So I think the Wally Wog is the last thing. Okay. This dog is stupid, dog. <laughs> like, look at this. You charge in this shit and you just win. You just win encounters. Get the ice Pikmin involved, and it's like not even a game anymore. But like, the game gave me the tools. So I'm gonna use them. Hmm. I'm glad this cave exists. Thankfully, I am at a point in my life where I know how to play Pikmin. So, I can kind of outpace them pretty well. And the dog really helps, because the dog, the dog is actually cheating. He only fell down so far because I let him. Since though, I, it's been it's been smooth sailing. The ice Pikmin are just stupid because they're bitter, they're ultra bitter spray as a Pikmin. And they tend to get the freeze off before any real problem arises. And then it's just like, oh. So, it's a bit silly. But like, well, the game gave it to me, so I'm gonna use it, right? The fuck is that? Ew! What an unbelievably nasty creature that looked like. Yeah. Let's just go up there because I just built it. Fungal. Fungal funny. Ew. That's all mega stinky. Sticky mold. 
Come on, come on, break it down, break it down, break it down for me. Yeah, break it down for me. Oh yeah, he can't he can't start the jazz on the goo. Okay. There we go. It's five. Oh Jesus! Oh, oh no! <laughs> He didn't know All right, all right, we're good. We're good. That scared the shit out of me, by the way. I didn't think there'd be a mushroom form. I, I didn't even consider for a second that could be a thing. And he fucking jumped me and I, that scream. Come on. Is that a ball tiled weevil? Holy shit, it is. I mean, technically it is. But we got stinky mushrooms. Come over here. Look how smart your streamer is. Just, just the absolute smartest. Alright, this goo is kinda nasty. Pop it down, pop it down. Oh, there's a train track under there, okay. Man, you gotta stop doing that. There you go. I'm not done. There's treasure. Why is there treasure over there? What? Oh, it's the dice. Uh... Drink the goo. Drink the goo. Okay. It is a D4. I know. It's the exact same, uh... It's the exact same as it was in Pikmin 2. Because the water race gimmick doesn't really work when you can bring purple Pikmin in. So you're forced to go through the dungeon, unable to do anything if he shows up. But then at the end, you get the purple pick, and you're like, oh, this is how you fight it. We had a conversation about that before, actually. About how the game, like, the game essentially hard locks you and prevents any kind of Pikmin that's not blue from going into it. Even if you try to, like, cheat them, it's like, no. You can cheat them in after the fact, mind you. Like, when you're already in the cave, but it won't let you bring anything. It won't let you bring anything but blues in. This really is just like the submerged castle. It's cool. I'm glad this is back. I can't believe this is back. As a Pikmin fan, this makes me happy to see. <laughs> it really does. It's final sub level. Okay. There's two types of wild Pikmin in here. Yeah, this is the purple flowers. Where's the other one? Hmm. Okay. Oh, you got oh, you got no choice. Here they are. Thickums.
he thick. These Pikmin certainly have some heft to them. Let's me check the voyage log. Maybe a relevant entry. One purple Pikmin has a strength and weight of 10 regular Pikmin. What they lack in speed, they make up for force. When thrown, their impact is powerful and to emit gravitational waves. They're only found underground, so I must handle with care. They're 10 times stronger than other Pikmin. How could they possess such power? Well, it sounds like we can rely on them for, for some heavy lifting. New creature discovered. Wow, the cave won't even let me leave <laughs> without, without fighting the boss. That's kind of mean. Okay. I thought there were two types of new Pikmin in here. Weird. Guess it's just this guy. I want the purples first. Okay. Let's just get nice and snug in here, shall we? Oh. Alright, Ochi. Here we go. Didn't even thud. There we go. Why does he do? Wow. That is crazy damage. He's dead. Not as funny the way he runs, but it's still pretty good. Hmm. You know what? I don't even mind that his HP isn't that high because it's just removed the tedium. What you got there? Wave Ray 64? Except that's a GameCube game. <laughs> so it's not Wave Ray 64, you fucking idiot. <laughs> I don't, I don't mind his HP being really low. He died in basically one cycle, but honestly, that is the whole fight. It's just constantly, you know, it's looping him like that. So, the tedium is removed. If anything, it's just cool to see him back. Alright. Mm-mm. <clears throat> Still a good run though, but the the run in two had that goofy noise he made with it. Let's see what the ID tells us. Osha. Archaeologist tracking the path of civilization across the universe. He hopes to discover it will, will shock the world of academia. A ruined excavation specialist. He probably came to this planet to do research. <clears throat> Excellent rescue work. Bring him back here. I have some questions for him. All right, that's not everything. Oh. He's hiding shit. There it is. Yo, purple goo! Purple goo! Be kind of funny if you pulled up the uh, the megaphone that gives you the the plucka phone. By the way, not a bad upgrade. 
but not a good spot for it in the in Pikmin 2. Not a good spot for it. It's so late in the game that it's useless. But it is a very convenient thing. It's only really helpful for when Mamutas go wrong at, at that point, but then it, it's like there's not a lot of Mamutas. And most people don't really do Submerged Castle early. <laughs> Kish and Osa. Okay. Glinty Circular Disc Noble Blue. Difficult Choice Totem, Turn of Events Track, Insect Condo, uh, Scaly Custard, Memory Fragment Bottom, probably. Crush Nugget, Hoop of Passion, Juicy Gaggle, Ice Sword, Secured Satchel, Vanishing Cookie. Good. Look at that, I got the whole part. Look at how many Pikmin I got here, man. Hmm. I don't have Area 4. Well, actually, I do. I'm still in Area 3. I'm 100% in every area uh, before I move on. Hmm. I didn't do any of the demo stuff, so I'm not looking for any spoilers. Any spoiler, even remotely a spoiler. Oh, okay, what's well, purple Pikmin? Alright, yeah, I'll bring 25, 25, 10. Just be careful, never use them. So where'd you spit me out at? Oh, I'm on the cliff now. Okay. Hmm. Well, let's put this down first. Okay. I was so spoiler-free that I didn't even know the Ice Pikmin were in the fucking game. <laughs> no no cap. I got spoiled by the, t the shop page and the title screen. I was like, what is that Pikmin? I've never seen that Pikmin before. Bonk. Where's that treasure? Hunya, 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 hunya. Hope they have a clear path. Okay. Okay. Lead the blue Pikmin to that. Let me take a quick look. Like I'm using that. Let me take a quick look before I send them off on their own. The bridge is blocked by the blue Pikmin, so we're okay. We're okay. No, I the ice Pikmin I didn't know about. I know it was revealed in the demo and whatnot, but I didn't know about them. I saw there was a an image before, but I didn't know they were ice Pikmin. Kind of assumed they they kind of looked like it though. Is that an ocarina? <laughs> they were in the first direct trailer. No, they weren't. You lie. Look at that berry. No, I saw the night stuff. That was in the first trailer. Get, get this. That's more important to me. Oh, I found a lad. Okay. These leaflings, they're really all over the place, huh? Come, it's Don Dory time. Wow, how many Caspers have been turned into leaflings? Never mind, we need to rescue them all. Nope, I didn't. I purposely avoided watching and playing the demo, so I only saw the initial trailer that was in the direct. I didn't watch anything else. I kept everything as spoiler-free as possible. That's gonna go down the crab way, right? Okay, yeah, there it is. Somebody accidentally spoiled a boss for me, though. They didn't mean to do it. But they just assumed I watched the trailer. I'm not gonna say which boss. 
but they did spoil it, which is kind of a shame, but it's okay. I'm playing this game like 1,000% blind though, and I'm enjoying it. I had no idea the water wraith was going to show up, and I'm so glad I didn't know that because that was, that was exciting. That was genuinely an exciting moment. Okay. Once the ocarina goes in, we're going to jump down here. So let's take a look real quick. So, yep, we got that, got that, got that pushed. Got that. There's treasure there behind the wall. That's fine. There's gold there. There's gold there. I didn't get that. I can get it. Later. I can get, I can get it later. I'll just wait. I'll get it later. Hmm. I knew that, yeah, I knew the rock pick when we were coming back already. I knew that. It's under the water usually. That's fine. Yeah, I can get it later. I just, I'll do this first. I'll probably get it on the way back. I'll swing back. Because this is only going to be a quick Don Dory, right? Hmm. Yesterday, I did all the first and second area. I played for eight hours. I played for eight fucking hours. I got through 100% of the first two areas. And this my... First step in here. I did the night missions in the first two areas as well. Test tubs. Collect all the treasures within the time limit. Okay. Alright. We got blue and rocks. Okay. This area is really nice. I like the beach aesthetic a lot. Level 3. I don't remember the Pikmin 3 beach area very well. I remember there's some kind of puzzle in the trees though that pissed me off. No need for introductions. I see who you are through Don Dory. Show me your Don Dory. Show me your best. Bonk. You gotta get everything. Just in case you're wondering, chat, you do need to get literally everything. If you want to get the best score. Let's stop right there. Okay. They're going to be okay. I got it. Ow. Good dog. No, oh gee. Let me on your back. They're gonna push my boys into the water. Get on. I got it. One more hit. One more hit. I got it. Okay. There you go. Got the dog. You get that. And you get that. Okay. What's going on over here, boys? We got six. Get that. More Pikmin over here. Mr. Rock can start that. 10 there, that takes 12. Okay, I'm gonna get the duck. Everything is good, everything is good. Yo, I got the triple punch and I just don't use it because the dog exists. Get in there. Those boys will get that. Those boys will get that. Those boys will get that. I want to get that boat over there and be done with that side now as well. And then go over there. Okay. Uh, I need blue Pikmin for that to make it faster. 
Let's just go over here first then. Don't dig that up. That works. Come on, boys. There you go. They're gonna unearth. They're gonna unearth it. They can get that. I think now it's just a matter of uh, cleaning up. Oh no, there's a crab. Hold on. Yeah, there's a crab. Bonk. There we go. And now it's all clean up. Okay, they drain the water now. Okay. Everything's dead, so now it's gonna grab everything in time. Okay. Hmm. I bought the triple punch. It only cost 40. But that's how I played Pikmin 2. That item. Bro, what happened? Bro! <laughs> what happened? Why he do? Hold that out, would you? Okay, I need those five. Alright, the boys are getting the gold. And the rocks. I think that's... Yeah, that should be it. Just a couple more pieces of gold. There we go. Job's done. Alright. Oh. Kind of sloppy, kind of sloppy. But if it gets done, it gets done. No, the challenge mode stuff is fine. I think it's pretty fun. It's like the mission mode after all. Just getting everything going decently fast. It's not like the most difficult thing in the world. I do have experience with it as well, because I play Pikmin a lot. But even then, I'd say it's more than manageable. It's more than reasonable for the a story objective. And the challenge to get everything is quite entertaining. Good job. They're fun. Dondori battle is fun with another human as well, by the way. Because that's Pikmin 2's battle mode. It's very fun. It's kind of busted and silly, but I feel like uh, Pikmin 4 version, since they made it a main mechanic, it's probably a lot more polished to the versus mode. Dondori is too good, I could never beat, as I promise you reward 30 pieces. Those were some incredible Dondori skills. Alright, let's get him out of here. Bring him home. How'd that rock do that? Was he not on my ass? Like, what? how did he... Why did he run in the water like that? I feel like when Pikmin follow you and they see water, they should be like, Nah, bro, I can't swim. But instead, they just jump in the water and they're like, Ah, blah, 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 blah. It's like, come on, bro. This game wants to tell me that they have extreme- These Pikmin have developed extreme self-preservation skills and they fucking run into water like that. Well, at least, bro, there's no way to tell who this is. Doesn't matter. It's our job to rescue him. Yeah, yeah. That's 50% of the area already, huh? Alright. Okay. We're going... Going this way. Hmm. It's not about being useful. It's about the fact that these fuckers have no sense of self-preservation. In some areas. Only some areas. Well, you better pick those up. Because we get a base. Sandcastle out, please. Come on. Come on. Ooh, right here. They use wind and stuff to get you in this 
in this game, though. What do you mean, win? What you talking about? Bonk. wonder how it feels to be completely frozen solid like that. And then just explode. That's two bridges I'm not building. I wonder if I'll regret that in the night battle mode. Okay, let's see. We got stuff up there, and we got that whole ad construct up there. Get this base, get this base. Okay, got him. Spans and sticks they use to get around. See? They think they're so smart, but then they, 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 they run in water and just die. Nope, still can't read it. Great. Oh. We got a fish. Okay. In the hole, please. For me. I see a I see a silly fish. Oh I see a two silly fish. Hmm. Hold on. Can the blue Pikmin hit that that Yeah they can. Oh shit! Get on! Get on! I didn't think they'd just die. I mean, I guess they did to get fucking skewered. Guess I shouldn't be that surprised. Water's drained. Oh, there them free thinkers go again. They see a fish. They spam the Joel. Yeah, get these, please. Yo! Yo, look at that black ducky! Evil ducky. Don't call it rubber ugly, alright? Don't call it that. Okay, now I'm going this way. Yo, this mother is lamb based. Look at that. Crush him. Uh, I know, I know. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Give me that daffy duck. Rubber ducky cutie. There you go, rubber cutie. Alright, peep this play. Man, how does he do it? How does he do it? Oh, I missed one. Yeah, go ahead, get it. Okay. Day is running out, but it's fine. We got a fence. Moy! Get him. Bonk. What do we got? Okay, we got... Oh, that's a... Ooh. Ooh, we got stuff up there. But we gotta, we gotta go around the long way for that. Okay. Moy. Maybe we do a little, uh...
Oh. 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 <laughs> oh. <laughs> I, I, uh. Okay. I didn't think that would happen that way. Oh, watch this. Oh, baby. So easy. Okay, this is the entrance to the sand castle. But we got a lot of other stuff to do right now. Okay. Perfect. Alright, the boys are nice and safe. Nice and snug. Whew. A lot of work done. So far, only one Pikmin has been left behind to die. One block of ice. The thunderstorms haven't started yet, chat. But they're coming. I'm surprised they haven't started yet, actually. I, there hasn't even been rain. But they're on the way, apparently. <laughs> Probably have when the stream's over. Look at that stuff. Bright sword. Dapper. Dapper rubber cutie. Okay. Ring of Return Shield. Somewhat sparkly. Ambiguous Hostile. Uh, Heroine's Tear. Did I get anything at the start? Before the submerged castle? No, I didn't. It's a lot of things I have to read now, though. 55%. We moving. Oh, she's a rare breed of dog. Do you have to know where he was born? Aww. His ancestors have lived along the Shepherd family for generations. I don't know what planet they're originally from. But these dogs certainly have the perfect disposition and the right talents for life as a rescue pup. Obviously, I'm talking about their carrying abilities, but they're also strong diggers and have nose made of scent tracking. Combine that with excellent vision and soft, fluffy coats, and you got a perfect partner. Plus, they're so cute. And the short answer is no. Hey, chat. Quick, uh... Quick question. Uh, the Ruin DLC for FNAF comes out on the 25th, right? Like, Tuesday? I feel like that's really close. That and Slender, right? And, like, Poppy or something? All those July games are out on, like, the same day. Give him the pill, Captain. Give him the pill. I'm not gonna play them, but I'm gonna watch people play them. Joy. A mid-ranking travel agent is to tell a travel. She organized the Uncharted Planet Tour to save the company from bankruptcy. Our work doesn't end here. It's our duty to care. Yeah, every time I read that thinking it's going to be something. And then I'm like, wait. After many casts, we request for adding even more space to the rescue command post. Hopefully this will ensure all the casts will stay comfortable while they're here. Hello. We have enough space now that I'm sure we can fit anyone else we rescue while on this planet. How many rescue pulled together to give you this way of saying thank you? I believe it's more raw material. Thanks. Yes. Yes. Go we'll find everybody, yep. Papa. My name's Keish. I came to the planet at a field trip at my high school planetary science club and wound up stranded. Okay. Come back. Stop running. I'm Chewy from Stella Travel. Excellent adventures for every customer. Terribly sorry for any inconvenience I've caused you. Now, I realize we only just met in unusual circumstances, but I must ask, do you know if the rescue thing is covered by insurance? Well, I got a bit ahead of myself there. If someone who works in the field, you probably can't answer that. Well, just assume the cost depends on the specific circumstances for now. Could I trouble you to look into the policy okay. later? Hey, man, my company's Uncharted Planet Tour, and right now I need to ensure that our guests are safe. Since you have the skills, I bet you could track down our missing guests. I offer compensation and considerable gratitude. Okay. 
That's a big ship, man. You think these little Muppet people can't all fit in that? You kidding me? You're insane. You can stick each one in a window and have like, you just fill like seven spots just like that. Thanks to Tiny Boon, a whole lot of Pikmin flowers are so beautiful. I don't know how I got 300 of them, but all right. You really can't be done, right? This world needs more flowers. Keep blooming. You gotta keep blooming. Just keep blooming, huh? All right, buddy. I'll do my very best. What you doing over here? Hey, you're the one who saved me, yeah? Haha, -ha, I'm ever grateful for you, my friend. I came here to investigate this place in archaeological perspective. See, I'm trying to reconstruct the collapsed structures and really just investigate all sorts of fascinating what? stuff. I plan to write a paper based on what I find. Everyone in my field is going to dig it. Haha, -ha, just a little archaeology joke there. So I heard you reuse raw materials to make bridges and, well, all sorts of things. Did I get that right? I did? That's great. Just what I wanted to hear. <laughs> Thing is, I'd love to, if you could tell me when you build something. Would you mind? Don't get me wrong. I wouldn't ask you to do it for free. No, no. I'll give you something to show my appreciation. <laughs> well, you built all that. Build 10 structures. Oh, no. Are you a professional builder? Well, you are now. 20. Don't make... No, he's going to make me build the bridges. Don't make me build the bridges. I knew they'd find a way to get me eventually. Uh. You collected quite an impressive trove of goodies. It's humbling, really. It isn't much, but please accept this. Please, if you will, let me appraise as many goodies as possible. Collect the 150 treasures. Well, I gotta go build those bridges now, uselessly. Yeah. Let me read your notes, please. Dapper rubber cutie. Just look at this fellow, dressed to impress in all black, and impressed I most certainly am. So impressed I can't stop staring. I do hope it'll forgive me. It's just hard to act normal around someone so dapper. It truly is. Is it possible for a cookie to be too delicious? It seems it is. The very cookie is so incredibly tasty that it vanishes almost as soon as it appears. Where it goes, nobody knows. But if you ever want to taste it, you'll have to move fast. Hoop of passion. Is your relationship missing the spark it once had? Are you stuck in a rut with the one you love? This hoop can help. Except with the glowing pink light and feel the passion return. The warmth that shines upon you should sure to remind you the day you met. Store your valuables in this bag for guaranteed peace of mind. Of course, it's easier said than done. Its defenses make it impregnable and virtually impossible to break. But that's only a problem if you want to see your possessions ever again. Take a look at this strange picture. Notice the gaps and protrusions. I'm certain they mesh well with something similar yet different. Maybe this is some sort of key to open something if you find the piece that makes it whole. Exciting. Juicy gaggle. What charming fruit this is. If it had a personality, I'd say it was cute and bubbly. It's such a vibrant and passionate color too. There's just so much to love here. But like love itself, this fruit is delicate. So treat it with care. This fruit is a member of the plant fam family Bog Day. As the name implies, the insect condo is a popular abode choice of a number of insects. And who can blame the bugs for taking up residence here? This fruit is not just homey, but also quite delicious. When you lay eyes upon this elegant tear shape of this fruit, it makes you bring a tear to your eye. The perfection of it makes everything else in life seem somehow less perfect. Then when you taste how perfectly sweet it is, prepare to weep with joy. It's a food, and yet it resembles some kind of scaly beast. Let's agree that the initial impression is not a good one, and yet some, and, and yet inside awaits a rich, creamy culinary delight. Oh, you scaly custard, you. Many have judged you harshly, and for that, I'm truly sorry. It seems that something, or more likely some things, live within the inner cavity of this device. What were those things? What were their purpose? Were they forced to live there together as part of an experiment? Some things are destined to remain unknown. Close that. Tluzut. That's what it says. Tluzut. Very good. Now, oh. what a profound curve this track here exhibits. It's not so different from life. Sometimes you think you know where you're going, then a curve in the track takes you to an unexpected ride. There's no getting off this train, so sit back and enjoy the surprise. More goo. 
noble goo. What a regal color this is. Noble and dignified in hue. It demands a solemn def deference of all who gaze upon it. No wonder it's the color of kings, queens, and other folk of high status. I confess I yearn to have a coat made of, of a coat made of this color myself. Hmm. This disc vexes me greatly. I've analyzed it, meditated over it, and even given it a good whack or two, and I still can't decipher its purpose. But drawing upon a ra rather prestigious knowledge, prodigious Prodigious treasure knowledge is surmised either a piece of equipment used to gathering solar energy or it's a weapon capable of reflecting light at troublesome beasts to scare them off. Quite useful either way. Wave Race, Blue Storm, 1996 to 2001. Japan only. Oh yeah, look at that reflective surface. Yeah, baby. Oh, that's, that's the good stuff. Look at that. Not a fingerprint or scratch mark in sight. Oh. 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 Oh, that's that's the good shit. Crush nugget. If a crush was a taste rather than a feeling, the fruit is where you go to experience it. Feeling starts small when you take the first bite and think, hmm, not so sure I like it. But then you take another bite and another, only discover that you not only like the taste, but have come to love it. Suddenly, you have a full-blown food crush on your hands. Just remember, many things in life are an acquired taste, so be sure to keep an open mind. See so yeah, how the shield is engraved with the image of a massive ringed planet. In ancient times, the ring was thought to be a curse that caused space travelers to forever end up right back where they began. But nowadays, the ring has come to represent a joyful return home after a long journey. It was also customary to give this shield to someone you love in hopes it would bring them home to you safely. Clearly, an ancient sword was forged in battle on some sort of ice planet. Just look at it. The deep blue coloring is evidence that it once had powers that worked best in below freezing temperatures. I could swear all these eons later, it's still cold to the touch. The sword's sunny, sunny sparkle is sure to catch the eyes of your opponent during battle. And this is your chance as they blink away the brightness, thus the point ends at the weak spot and finish them. Cowardly, that's up to you. History is written by the victor. This tool can be helpful with one finds himself faced with an especially hard choice. Simply roll the stone and leave the decision to fate. But when you roll, your roll, when the roll ends abruptly, when the roll ends abruptly, you will like the decision fate picked for you, or you wish you decided for yourself. Okay. Look at those free thinkers at it again. They heard the word sunny, and they just and immediately they want to drink milk. Mmm, that was fascinating. You must let me know if you find any more new snarly snugglers out there. Find a hundred. I can't believe I have 82. I've been to two areas, three areas in the game. Tell me, did any particular one touch your heart? Sharp. Fiery bull blacks. When I see this blazing beastie, I get a rush of excitement. It's easy to lose track of time and start fixating on the flame and shroud of form of fiery bull blacks. Its appearance brings mind ancient molten landscapes from an era of our earliest ancestors. Kind of forgot I fought that thing. Fucker's melty. Fiery the Weevil. This perfectly polished crimson color, like something hand-finished by a true master craftsman, is a feast for the eyes. This brilliant color is actually made through layer upon layer of very fine fibers being stacked together. Nature is the most skilled crafter. Hydro the Weevil. I did not realize I killed one of those. <laughs> it's bewitching to hold, behold the way it skitter skitters around on these long, slender, lapis lazuli blue legs while carrying treasure on its back. If, in an excite excess of excitement, you reach out a hand to touch it, a startling splash should deter you. Be calm and quiet around this beastie. Venom Dweevil. Is this just another different color of Dweevil? Not at all. You see here a fashion leader of the critter world. There's once a purple one as well, but this year's trendy color is green. Interesting. Be sure to bring protective gear to see it though. The skittering sweetie can produce toxic gas if threatened. So it's referencing the purple one. Startle Spore. Hmm. These don't just mimic a growth of mushrooms for the fun of catching you by surprise. They also use the opportunity to spread poison around quite indiscriminately. But that's just the little darling's idiosyncratic method of catching its prey. We should learn from the way nature embraces such unique and varied creatures. No, fuck that thing. Fuck this thing. Moldy Dwarf Bulborb. Picture the scenario like this poor darling. You're conscious but no longer in control of your own body. Oh, it's Paris. Someone or something has taken over. A horrifying concept, isn't it? But what if the thing controlling you... You couldn't live if you, it didn't do that. Sometimes it's simple a matter of survival. So yeah, it's like Paris. It's got a parasitic mushroom on its back. And it's like controlling it. Wally hop. 
With a distinct parlor, almost like it was painted with white face paint. It gives off an air of performing mime. This cutie can jump with quite quiet refinement, never moving its plump jowls at all. It's graceful and expressive in the most unexpected ways. Pearly clam clamp. On sandy hills or in the sea, wherever it may be, it never moves from its spot. It will sit and wait for someone to wander past, someone being prey. Preferably, though, it could also be someone who knows the value of a beautiful shell or the pearl it holds nestled inside. 14 Pikmin dead. It's a profoundly heavy feeling holding a living thing in your arms. It can be overwhelming to realize the thing is really alive. That said, these little ones have a density that makes them feel extremely heavy. To hold them at all is difficult, but don't worry, they're strong enough that they can hold you. This guy. Jeez. A living thing is a living thing, even if it transcends our understanding. This unnerving creature is translucent, has no actual physical body to speak of, yet somehow it clutches its rollers with zealous devotion. It's both eerie and fascinating, don't you agree? I actually do. This creature makes no sense to me. You can have a bit of fun with this one by giving it a good poke and watching it wobble and sway through the air like a balloon. Poke it too much, though, and it may spew gas and fly off. It's a mischievous little darling, and the way it scatters flowers and cackles is quite charming. Amazing. Kubanashi. Kubanashi. None of that. Nothing there. Nothing from you. Got pop training. Hmm. Nobody understands that creature. Its body is in a different plane of existence. More power rush. Yes, please. Stun, impact, energy charging speed. Push them all to the max. Ultra mega rush. Yep. Sure am going to do that. All right. Now I have two more. Um, let's give them... Let's give them stronger bite. Scrummy bone. Okay. Keep up the good work. Yeah, they made a real fucking weird creature, that's for sure. Just love science, technology. It makes the impossible possible. What do you got? Treasure gauge plus. Now you see the total amount and locations of treasure. Time to go back and double check your work. Coated into the seal and it repels gooeyest to gunk. You won't be impeded by sticky paths while wearing these boots. Yes, please. I'm not buying the treasure gauge. We're good. That's all I need. I think that's everything I want. Uh, I guess I'll go build the bridges. Yep. It's one of the first area I'll have to go back and do. Uh later if i need to i'll do it but if i don't i won't but i'll build i'll build all the fucking bridges that i don't need to do just for that guy to give me the material back what a waste of time hmm well louis says if you try to eat the water wraith you get like muscle spasms and like fucking you go insane or something like that Hmm. Auto. Missions. Voyage log. Swim lessons. Monster Shunners will be a very talented swimmer. She can transport non swimming Pikmin across the water by carrying them on her back. To be honest, she could probably teach me a thing or two. I can't even swim in space if I don't have my favorite space float. It's so true. Oh! Okay, we gotta build that bridge, and we gotta build that bridge. So, let's go build a goddamn bridge, okay? Alright, build that. Where's the other one? Right there. How pointless. I gotta move the base all the way back here. 
And then when they build it, we'll just go back. Huh, uh, uh. It's made of oil. Its name is the Water Wraith. You hit the, the, the purple Pikmin hit the ground so hard it causes a gravitational shift, which makes its body appear in the real world because that makes sense. None of it makes sense. Oh, they're over by the bridge still. Oh, it's okay. I'll go get them. Hmm. All right, building your bridge. All right, so if the, I can move the base right now and they'll still be transporting the material. And I'll just go back and get them. Okay, the, this rush has become omega powerful. Absolutely pointless. Okay. That's what happens when you're thick. You ever see that episode of Family Guy? Where Peter has his, like, you know, Brian throws, like, something at him. And then, he's like, Peter's got his own gravitational pull. And it's like, what? It's like that. It's just like that. You ever seen that? Well, sounds like somebody should probably go see that right now. Get on it. I'll wait. I'm not going anywhere for a while. Seventeen. Halfway. Do half. Okay. What do you mean you're not watching Family Guy? Everybody watches Family Guy. Where are those good old fashioned values? I wish for you to rely. Need a hundred blue Pikmin to freeze this water. This is probably a bad idea. Just don't don't eat that. Well. That's bad. That's... That's bad. It's alright. That takes 20, huh? Alright. Well... Absolutely crushed. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Didn't need that anyway. I just wish he ate... You know, I just wish he ate a, a different Pikmin. That's all. Thank you. Pikmin are having trouble. What's the problem, champ? We shouldn't worry about the problems of now. We should worry about the problems of later. Yes. Yes. I am very smart. Dude. Look how deep the water gets. Is that a banana? That is a banana! That's exciting. That's something to get excited about. A fucking banana. Yeah, give me the banana. Hmm. I lost a purple Pikmin and I'm a little sour about it. But I could not stop him. And any attempt to stop him would have been... Actually, maybe I could have stopped him by charging into him. I just kind of sat there and accepted it, though. Well, you know what they say. Bada bing, bada boom. <laughs> New treasure. Just, uh... 
Yeah, be so kind. The water's gonna go down soon, but I'm gonna go get that shell, and then I'm gonna go get the watermelon. Hmm. Where am I? I do want to go under the water. That that would be really cool to do, but I can't do that because I have other Pikmin with me. But I do want to go under the water because I think that would be awesome. Hmm, I wonder what happens if you're on top of this when the water drains. Does Ochi just like ride it and then you can sequence break? Oh no. He slides off it. That a helix fossil. Well, I mean, a helix fossil is based off an ammonite, right? So, sure. <laughs> it is indeed that fossil. Sorry, not ammonite. Am whatever the fuck it is. The ammonite. I'm an ammonite. I'm an ammonite. I don't remember what it's called, man! It's called like a Natalie or something like that. I don't know. Sand castles at the end. Nautilus sounds right. Oh, those are those are corpses. Water level is going to go down in a second. Hmm. Oh. Go down, damn it. There you go. I'm gonna kill him. All right, nobody panic. Get these grapes. Oh, they're just, they're not taking the whole bushel. There's, I mean, they're taking the whole bushel. They're not taking it piece by piece. Brick by brick. That's no good, no, <laughs> no. What? Why is there a crab here? Why was there a crab there? You know what? Why not? Why not? And I'll go get the watermelon right now. I need my purples, though. Get those. What are these boys doing? Couple raw materials. I need those. Okay. I wonder if I have enough. Uh... Time. It's 8.40. Do I have enough time to just rest this whole area? I don't think I do. Was the watermelon... Was the watermelon in water? Oh no, it's dry. Okay. Okay. I forgot Ochi has the carry strength of like... You know... I forgot Ochi had the carry strength of 30. I still would need a purple Pikmin, but I could have probably- I could have got that with another upgrade and no purple. Okay, I'm taking my blues on an adventure. Put 
come here. We're going underwater. It'll be fun. Hmm. There's no way he can carry a hundred on his own. What do you think he is? He's not that guy. He does got that dog in him. I'll give you that. That didn't even do anything. Bro, they... Ew, did you see his tongue? Nasty. Oh, beautiful. Get him. Get him. Oh, the underwater music, man. There's an onion in there. Hold on, there's an onion in there. Oh, they're dead. <gasps> I hate it down here. I don't like it down here. It scares me. The double whistle. Do the double whistle. Yeah, double whistle works. You get double whistle them. Yep, I sure fucking did, didn't I? It sure, that sure worked. Why are you up here above me, Ochi? What are you doing? Another cool set of Pikmin lost. This whistle change was deliberate to make that enemy more annoying than it needs to be. That's what it is. Now it all makes sense. Get in here. I'm going in with a fucking squad. Come with me now. Hurry up. We gotta get that unyacht. Now I gotta tell the boys I lost even more to this. You know what? I didn't lose Pikmin to the clam. I lost Pikmin to the whistle mechanic. That doesn't sound much better, but it's the truth. It's how it's what happened. It's how it went down. You all saw it. You all saw it. That's how it went down. You can take the clam? Give me the clam. Give me him. Unfucking believable. They're letting me take the clam. God damn it. These creatures are a little awkward to fight. We're good. I like being underwater here. Wait, what? Right, the banana. Give me that. The sticker says banana on it. Ochi? Girth up. The number of Pikmin you can withdraw is increased by 10. Get it. What? Okay. Wait, there's a hole over there? Ice cross course. Collect all treasures for Oh, man. Oh, that's gonna be goofy. I might be able to slip in there. Nah, probably not. Okay, that's there. And then it's just that towering... There's two tunnels there. Oh, jeez. Alright. I might be able to squeeze all that in one day.
It's okay, they'll make it. I believe in them. I believe in them. What I tell you? Benigna. I've lost. I think that that clam is gonna have the highest like death count the entire uh, the entire game. Jesus, how much food we got for all these people? It's been almost three weeks here on this planet. Mystery fish. Crimson Banquet, Slapstick Crescent, Dawn Pustules, Zest Bomb, New, New Toll Light Shell, Giant's Fossil, Squish Fish. If I was only 4%? What? I wonder, does Ochi's tail always look like this? Space dog race can be very mysterious, perhaps it changed as he grew. Well, he doesn't seem to be suffering from any health issues as of late. Let's just keep an eye on him for now. Hopefully it's nothing serious. Oh, and that joust fish also kind of fucked me up. I guess I wasn't smart to attack the front of him. And then he just, you know, he just stabbed like five Pikmin. I did get another Unyacht, though. It's pretty good. Alright, let's go to that Dombori challenge. I hope I don't have to talk to anyone. A new invention is brewing. No, people. I don't want to talk to people. Your horticultural efforts have not gone unnoticed. Big populations bloom thanks to you. Yeah, alright. There you are. I have to mention token. Does this guy's thing ever end? It's 300 fucking Pikmin. Oh. Oh. I didn't find any new enemies, did I? I don't believe I did. There's new treasure though. Yeah. I don't think I fought any new enemies. <sighs> Pustules. It's difficult to say which aspect of this fruit is more charming. It's pretty emerald color, how easy it is to share with friends. Thankfully, you don't have to choose. Simply gaze upon the gorgeous green hue as you share its many orbs at a party. This thing is enormous. It's the size of an asteroid with hard striped skin. It's not very inviting, so what a surprise. It was fine that the insides are bursting with crimson juice and seeds too. Plant these in the garden and it may be more tasty asteroids will grow. It's a sika. A number of fruits look quite similar to this one, but while it may be rather forgettable in appearance, the refreshing fragrance will live in your memory forever. Those with a mature palate should also sample its bitter taste, a zesty experience indeed. Clearly this fruit was designed to be sent on outings with children. Note the built-in wrapper that's easy to remove, but children mustn't toss the wrapper on the ground. Someone's sure to slip on it and land on their behind. Hilarious, maybe. Painful, definitely. Moi. This fossil is all that remains of a heroic giant from ancient times. He was known for showing compassion not only his allies, but enemies as well. As we contemplate his revered visage, we should let it pass his past benevolence act as a guide for our own behavior today. What a mysterious new species of fish. Its body is transparent, yet inside is full of black liquid. Give it a good squeeze and the liquid squishes right out. The liquid is tasty, although quite salty to be honest. Surely that must mean it came from the sea. Chat, what is this? What is he eating? Is this like soy sauce or something? Like a little, like a little tub of soy sauce? I have generally no idea what that is. This is pretty looking though. This is the fossil of an ancient sea creature. Sure, it looks like nothing but a brown blob from above, but flip it over and surprise, it sparkles like a gem lit from the inside. The iridescent pattern reminds of a water-dwelling newt found in my home planet. That's all of it. Okay. Soy sauce. Soy. 
What did you create, my guy? What did you create? Power whistle. Increase the whistle range by, well, a lot. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Look at the size of that. Give me that. Come back. If there's anything else you need. The world can hear me. Alright. We gotta do two caves. One a Dombori challenge right away. And another one, who knows. Probably the remaining caves are normal caves. Because I've done two Domboris here now. Did the battle with Olimar. And I did a mission one. This next one's gonna be weird. Because it's gonna want me to walk across pathways with Ice Pikmin. So I have to be... Smart about uh, what I grab. Okay, we're going all the way over there right away. Need more purple Pikmin? See if Ochi can track down their scent. You think he's just gonna find purple Pikmin? You think that's how this fucking world works? Let me off. Oh, I love it down here. I love it down here. Glub, glub, glub. Ice cross course. Let's do it. This is gonna be weird. There's probably gonna be no enemies because Ice Pikmin will kill them and make them explode. So I would ha if I, I would lose the point values and have to get the uh, time bonus. Who the hell are you? Oh, there's blue Pikmin. Assign Pikmin tasks they like. This is key to success. Now show me how you battle. Okay. I know that enemy. He won't drown in there, he's fine. Okay. Bonk. Omega dead. Okay. Bring him up, bring him around. Gotta get everything out of the water. Pick it up, dude. Thank you, Flan, for the resub. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Hold on. Okay. Let's get everything I can right away. And then move the ice Pikmin after the fact. Don't whistle them, actually. Okay. All right, there's the boat. Let's get the uh, gold started. Okay. Yep. Get that going. I can, okay. I can do a little work on my own in the meantime. There's blue Pikmin there. Okay. Okay. Base is right there. Okay. Get that. It's like a little loop. Okay. Get that, get that. They got the gold. I got the mud on them. Hey, okay, get that. Get that. I got three more. Three more. They got three minutes. I think we're doing okay enough. I'll get the ice Pikmin out of there eventually. Okay. Nogi's done. 
and get the octopus weenies. Okay, get those. Charge, finish them. And that should be fine to pick them up, actually. Yeah, you should only take one. Okay. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There we go. There we go. Okay. Wait, get off the dog. Send the dog. What? I forgot the dog. I forgot the dog works. Two minutes left all of a sudden. Shit. What's left? Wait, it's just the... I think it's just the... The duck. I dig that out. Yeah, it's just the duck. That's it. Ice cross my ass. We're done. <laughs> Hang, boys. Hang ten. Good job, OG. The strongest. What a whole minute to spare. They got it. They got it. One minute left. It's done. That's it. Five points right here. Okay, well, you can do that whole thing without moving the ice Pikmin at all. <laughs> well, how about that? I completely forgot that Ochi... I can get off Ochi and have Ochi move things my, for me. And he has the strength of 20 Pikmin. There was enough leeway. So incredible, I feel dizzy. 30 pieces of raw material is your reward. Boy. Those were some incredible dot Dory skills. Hmm. I need a little brick thrower. Where's my little brick thrower? Call him. I don't have any Pikmin. I didn't consider this. Yeah. Now I have Pikmin. Consideration was not required. Never mind. We're good. I gotta grow Pikmin for that ass clown, so let's just collect the corpses. It's disgusting down here. But it's also kind of beautiful at the same time. Get on. We're going up the sandcastle now. We're going over here. Look at this mound. This is the next destination. The top of this thing. Wow. Why is there a bag here? Okay. Let's see. This connects to it over here. So that's whatever. There's more corpses over there. There's a way up this way. I think I'd rather do the hole first. So I can get my Pikmin organized better. I saw them. There we go. Air ore. Yeah, yeah. They good? They in? Hold on, I still see one moving. When he gets in. 
when he gets in. Pop. All right. Job done. What we got here? Seafloor Resort. See a jellyfish. What beautiful scenery. When I'm surrounded by water, I can't help but feel I'm one at sea. Sadly, there aren't many places to land in here, so non swimmy Pikmin aren't able to do much. But at least I get to pretend I was on vacation for a while, right? Yeah. There's wild Pikmin in here. You want me to bring these guys? Uh... Let's do this. That seems smart. How great could it be? Well, there's not gonna be some freakazoid chasing me down. So we'll be fine. I'm sure. Oh, it looks nice. Oh, sprinklies. Oh, shit. Hmm. Oh, it's like an aquarium. No, no, not an aquarium. Uh. What's it called? It's like a fish tank. Can I be in the jelly spotters now? Is this gonna leave a corpse? I'm not surprised it didn't. Oh, shit. It just crumbled. I can turn the sprinklies off, but... Why should I? I see why. I now 100 see why. Okay. What is this? Right. Yeah, got it. Hmm. Ready to charge whatever comes up. A pacifier. That's fine. Is that- yo! Look at that! Oh, whoops. That's the good sush. That's the good stuff. Oh, there's two pieces. Give me that. Pacifier and some sushi. We're hitting high guards here. Okay. Oh, that's a baby bottle top. That was a candy, wasn't it, chat? Baby bottle pop. Can you lock onto that again, please? Oh. Ochi? He had it. I'm just gonna go around. You can lick it or you can crunch it. With new candy you crunch. Baby bottle pop. I gotta build the fucking sprinkler. I gotta build it in the other area too. Oh, there's an onion there. These are all kinds of contraptions I gotta build for that weirdo. So that means I gotta build a bridge in area one and I gotta build a sprinkler in area two. Let's just go. Chat, you ever have a push pop before? You ever you ever have a push pop before? They had uh they had they had like you could dip them in like sour pot and then uh powder. Ew, what the hell? Neat. They had triple triple threat. You could have three different flavors. Of course, you know ring pops. Honey. Good work. Stop the water. The water drained. 
immediately as well. It's kind of impressive, huh? Or like it dried. Nope. I don't need Ochi in this particular situation. Yo, get that. Yo, get that. And that should be the end of this, right? Come on, get it. You guys got it. Shit, I gotta walk all the way around. Well. I hadn't considered my what I was supposed to do there. That's a treasure, okay. There are all kinds of weird candies. 85, okay. There are commercials for them and stuff as well. Chat. Remember the Airhead commercials? What was what were Airheads? Oh wait, there's Pikmin over there. Hold on. That's fine, they're just chilling. Pikmin. Airheads were okay. Like, they weren't bad, but I wasn't quite sure how I was supposed to eat them. Oh my god, I gotta walk around it again. The ca the, the commercials were like, the guy's head turned to a fucking balloon, and it's like, what? What? Like, I don't know how I was supposed to eat them, that I was supposed to experience the strange feeling. I just kind of bit into them, and I was like, yep, it's kind of chewy, and then I swallow it. I'm like, yeah, that's nice. Like, that was my experience with it. Did I do it wrong? Did I do it wrong? Did I eat it incorrectly? Chat, have you ever had a jawbreaker before? I'm scared of them. That's the kind of candy that I'm surprised didn't kill more kids. It would have killed me. That's for sure. I swallowed hard candy before. I have swallowed hard candy before, before it like properly, like, uh, got small, and it was a very, very unpleasant experience. And now I am afraid of candies that I cannot chew. I am afraid of them. Bonk. Pop the bubble! Do you understand the size of a breath mint compared to the size of a jawbreaker? I'm sure you do. A jawbreaker is designed to break your jaw. Hence the name. It's a big piece of candy. If I put a Tic Tac in my mouth, if I put a Tic Tac in my mouth and swallow it, it's not gonna plug my airway. Amazing creatures. Oh. Come back. Hit that button. Melted in warm water? Thanks for your idea on how to completely destroy the taste of the candy. <laughs> what? At that point, why bother? Would you like some French onion soup? Sure, but could you, uh, could you hold off on the, the French onion? I don't like my French onion soup with French onion. So you want a bowl of, you want a bowl of chicken broth water? Yes, sir. Yes, please. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Can't just be cheating your candy like that. 
How would your jawbreaker feel if it knew that the child that bought it went and did that to it? Wait. I would feel kind of... Yeah, as, as the jawbreaker in this situation, I wouldn't feel very good. I feel like I got cheated. This fucking guy. We got stuff. Bonk. This duck was locked away for its crimes. What did it do? It's best that you'd never know. One more. Bonk. Man, it's just too easy. That's fine. There's a coin in there. Oh, they weren't with me, so... You know, I was about to get really mad because the blue- the ice pikmin started going for the material instead of actually attacking the jellyfish. Boys. Boys. What are you doing here? I think that's everything. Now I just wait. Now we wait. Try and call them. They'll use the wind. They Well, they were using the wind earlier. But this time, the ice pikmin was like, I can't go in there. See, he, had, he was smart. He knew better. But only this time did he know better. Any other time, he would have walked in there and just been like, well, I guess I'm here now for the rest of my goddamn life. There's no secret. There's no... No. If I throw them here... They did use the wind. They used it earlier when they, they jumped on the material. <coughs> they used the win if you call them from here. Did oh. Frise. Dedicated composer traveling with a famous opera singer and a TV crew hoping to find inspiration for an upcoming project. <laughs> Musician looks like he was riding along on the TV crew's ship. Maybe he knows a TV reporter. It's impossible. Oh, look at that. One of them has intelligence. Bro! Oh, there we go. Alright, alright. We got some... We got some smart fellas here. I'll give you that. We got some smart fellas. It's a nice change of pace. Oh. Oh, I almost left. 75. Uh, Ochi? Treasure, please. Look at him go. Look at him go. I didn't even see those. <laughs> I did not see those at all. Alright, that should be it then, right? Surely. It's cool, the galaxy feels so... You know... Like, filled, I suppose. Instead of just Hoko Tate. Cold Pie was in 3, Hoko Tate was the planet for 1 and 2, and now it's like, there's a lot of planets out there in space. Space France. I guess yes. Unfortunately, this does mean that Space France is a thing. And I'm sorry if that hurt your feelings. Even when the Earth has decrepit, fallen apart, and goes to the beasts that are about about as big as your fingernails, French France will still continue to exist. I'm sorry. It's a necessary evil, yes.
I'm allowed to say this because I'm Canadian and I live in the same country as Quebec. <laughs> What's your excuse, chat? Huh? What's your excuse? You don't know what it's like. I'm gonna pull this down. You're British. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> My condolences. I don't think you're really mad as I beat the shit out of this thing with. Ew, look at that. Man, charging is speed run city. Damn. Well, he dead. Boys. Oh. Oh, they got it. Yo, he came out of here like nothing. We love Quebec. Everybody loves Quebec. My favorite place on the planet. Oh man, we got so much water going on down here. It's it's deeper. It's cute. I dig it a lot. We're getting there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, my dog can't help. I gotta play by the rules. There might be a way to drain this water. Shit. Glub, glub, glub. That enemy scares me. Damn. Do not like him. Never mind, we're doing this horn charge shit and it's just everything dies. Easy. Nah, there's no way he would have skewered every single blue Pikmin I had. Come on now. There's just, there's simply no way that's what would have happened. I'm choosing to believe that's impossible. And I won't hear any other, I won't hear it any other way. Dude, I, Nintendo always does this with their underwater shit. I love it. It's like I'm actually underwater with the gerbils. It's amazing down here. Wow. Going for a little swimmy action. I didn't find the button, huh? Hello, puppy. I gotta get that jellyfish, I assume. Ah. Almost didn't see that. Now 100 boys. Swords. We got swords. Okay, okay, alright, okay. 
Gotta go over to that jellyfish place. There's the button. Wait, the Pikmin can probably do this, right? Yeah, they can do it. There we go. Material cashed out. Build! There's no I, proof that that Bulbar was going to eat all of my Pikmin. Alright. I am very curious as to how that would have played out. And honestly, I think it would be better. I genuinely think it would be better if it was, uh, if it is how it played out. Like, if that Bulbar actually was about to eat all my fucking Pikmin. I'm not scared of jellyfish. Back. Give me the back, give me the back, give me the back, give me the back, give me the back. Give me the back, give me the back, give me the back, give me the back. Hurry, 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 hurry. Hurry, 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 hurry. Fifteen of them. Oh, they're making it. Those boys making them leaps. Look at that. All right. Well, he just ate fifteen Pikmin. But you know what they say: easy come, easy go. Got everything here. Seventy-seven. Right, the toothbrush. Yeah. He ate so many of them and the other ones fell off because they, they back off in this game when you attack them. It's pretty smart behavior. They normally just kind of wiggle and then they're stuck, but this one's actually fucked off. I honestly thought I'd be okay to kill it from there, but then nope. It took over half my, uh, my force. I misplayed. It's my fault. I fully acknowledge that. Killed 15 of my my best friends, but you know what those 15 Pikmin came from this dungeon anyway So I didn't actually lose any Pikmin It's a pretty bad way to look at it <clears throat> But it is how it is 100% one more floor Gets everything one more floor Hey, the jellyfish doesn't kill anyone if they're playing smart. I just didn't play smart. I gotta tell them about the clam clamp. Oh man. The clam clamp and the jelly spotters, man. Alright, is this a boss? That's a big ass frog! Bro. What am I gonna do about this big froggy? I know exactly what I'm going to do, and it might not work. And if it doesn't work, then, well, that's my own fault, really. Can anyone predict the streamer's next move? I sure can't. In you go. No, nope. there's no way you can predict what happens next. Zero chance. All the Pikmin on Ochi's back. Oh, 
I'll get them all. Hmm. All right, well, I guess we're gonna get them. A button to throw and it started plucking. I understand. <laughs> I don't know if that's more the charge move's fault or the uh, the ice Pikmin's fault. Amazing! Look at all the sparkly um, and yet the super energy tank still hasn't reached its maximum capacity. Oh. Intriguing! The sparkly doesn't seem to possess any weight or volume. You know what that means? No matter how much energy we collect, the tank should be able to handle it. You've done a great job collecting treasure so far. No reason to stop now. Pull it up. There he is. Alright. I don't even know what that frog was going to do, but he's also a crushing hazard, so if he crushes me and I lose all my Pikmin, I cry. So, I'm more or less okay with that outcome. Even if it means you're denied content. He'll never out-jump the Waluigi Wog. Alright. Another ID card. Kaya. The member of her school's planetary science called the Irish Spence Cloud. Uh, cloud gazing rarely uses scientific observations. He squishes the sand and makes more water. Otherwise, it's only frog. Let's get her back to teach your fellow students. You're kidding, right? That's it? That's all he do? That's all he do. He just makes indents in the sand. I'm not impressed. Okay? I'm simply not impressed. Okay. False lollipop, they called that. Greed inducement device. Brush of Foolishness, Spirit Sword, Monster Teeth, Trap Lid, Dapper Blob, Maestro of Flavor, Maternal Sculpture. Yeah. Just a coin purse. Just a coin purse. Oh. Now spit me out. Put me back where I need to be. I gotta go! I'm climbing this. This, uh, thing. Oh, right, yeah, I got that. I forgot. Ball. Ten more Pikmin out. Yeah, baby. Where are we? Alright, what are we doing right now? Right here, right now. Nope, nope, not going down there. I want to get everything. We're going around. Around here is where we're going. Up, 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 up. Up and around, up and around, up and around. We got the crab here. Just the crab. Okay, we're going this way then. Oh, shit. We got a puzzle. Oh! 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 Gobbledygoo, man. Gobbledygoo. No games being played. We're climbing the construct first, then we're gonna loot it on the way down. Alright. Alright. 
area is clearly not a natural feature. Bonk. We got down here. Yep, it's the water, low tide. It's a sand castle. Oh yeah, you can enter from here. Bonk. I'm wondering if there's a base spot at the top of the of the hill. So that's why I want to climb it up all the way up first before anything else. What the hell is that? Oh. Yeah, beat the shit out of it! Yeah! I don't know what he ate. This guy looks really cool, though. Kill, 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 kill. That's a cool looking enemy. I don't even know what he ate. Seriously, I have no idea what he what did he eat? I guess it was all blue Pikmin. Fuck. Where's we at? 105, 163, okay. Going to the yellows. Well, they're going the long way now, but it's all right. We're getting those material. There's a climbing point. Can't get off it, damn it. that out. That was a cool enemy, though. That was a really cool looking enemy. Yep, get all that. And then we're gonna get all this. I want to try and get all this done. Olimar. Sunsets. Under a setting sun, I played catch with my son and comforted my daughter as she fretted over the growing darkness. It's when I first fell in love with my wife's smile. Long ago, the twilight of this planet brings back distant memories of Hokotate. Look at their dog. That's his family. Go home and be a family man. Good thing I waited to collect all this. Yeah, I want to try and get... There's a hole there, and there's a... Looks like a boss arena there. So I want to try and do uh, both of those, like, right now. This leads to the boss arena. Perfect. It's a normal hole. We'll get in there last. I can't go up there with Ochi. Assist. All right, built. That's no normal hole. What are you talking about? You can't just say shit like that and thinking you're gonna scare me. Oh, it's an onion up here.
Get the unyacht, please. Just, uh... You need blue Pikmin to even get this. <laughs> interesting. Very interesting. Water drain. Okay, cool. I thought that'd be something else, but I guess the boss was earlier anyway. I want to be able to go in that hole now. Can't freeze Paloposies. That's nice. Okay, come on, come on, come on. There's gonna be some buried treasure that I missed, so I'm gonna have to come back here anyway. I fucking guarantee it. There's the onion. Below grade discoff. While traversing the darkness, I came across a delightful yet nostalgic object of mystery. Powerful streams of light, non-stop beats that assault the senses, a haze of smoke and music, and dancing Pikmin. It's like being brought back to the disco thieves of my youth. The hell? Oh, what? Okay. <laughs> Red and yellow Pikmin randomly, okay. We like to watch. We like to fuck. And we like pain. I don't know what it means by dancing. I feel I should be concerned. A cue ball? I don't have a goblin thrusting emote though. I don't have the stronger headlight either. Bonk. No regrets. Oh, a train track. Figure it out, boys. This thing can be extremely dangerous if I let it be. So I'm not going to let it. Sometimes I forget I can jump up ledges. A five ball. Okay, there we go. And that's how we get up. And get that cue ball. Ooh. Yeah, I'm gonna get out of this hole, and it's gonna be like 98% complete. Go find the buried treasure you missed, and the clock's gonna start ticking, and then I'm gonna have to come back here one more time for one singular thing. Hope you're very excited for that. Man, the Pikmin throwing in this game is absolute dog water when you don't have it locked on. That's really bad. The lock-on is so goddamn vital to play in this game. <laughs> Otherwise, the throw is just absolutely useless. Some more red boys. I believe that's a cue ball. 100%. 20. So there should be five floors or so here. Okay. Now the lock on isn't really even like I mean you can you can keep the lock on in place but you don't even really need it most of the time cuz you're not really using it too much but it's mostly annoying when there's multiple enemies and you can't pick what you want to hit it forces you on something and then you can't protect yourself Bonk 
How unbelievably satisfying. Is that a... Okay, it's a platform. Kinda wish I had the headlight. Didn't think it'd be that dark down here. I wanna know what the game meant about disco dancing. Nope. I fucked up. I fucked up. I wasn't sure how to approach that. I thought I was holding the charge still, and then it di I wasn't, so a charge didn't come out. You're gonna make me... <laughs> oh, you kinda scare me there. <laughs> it told me to do or die. Nice, I've never used one of those. Perhaps now would be the time. I didn't whistle anything, I just watched. I just watched him die. I don't know why I did that. I'm not a good person. Sorry, Ochi. You gotta stay behind. Come on, lads. Don't let those fleas get ya. They're kinda weird. I don't like him very much. We're going in. I missed. You get his ass. Yo. Do you feel like the enemies that are only capable of being attacked? by Red Pikmin have a little more HP to compensate for their attack bonus. I never really thought of it. Like the Fiery Bull Blacks, I guess, for example. Granted, the Fiery Bull Blacks can be put... You can put the fire on him out if he's in water. But do you think, like, enemies like that that are specific to Red Pikmin have, like, HP increased to compensate for their increased attack power? Or no? One thing I do think is interesting is the Dweevils, at least in Pikmin 2, the Dweevils in Pikmin 2 all have the same HP, except the Poison one. The Poison one has more HP in general, and I think the reason for that is because it can't actually do any damage to the Captain, or even any stun. So, to compensate, they made it more resilient. It's not like it's any scarier than the water or the fire one. Hell, the fire one can't do any damage to you when you get the Scorch Guard, but the game's not assuming you have the Scorch Guard. Same with the electric one. The electric one's just the scariest. Well, not even, actually. The volatile Dweeble's the scariest one because it's a fucking bomb that falls out of the sky. Which this game has shown, it can do that, and it will do that. It will, it can and will do that. It wasn't a, a volatile Dweeble, but a Dweeble did carry a bomb rock towards me. Which is just... The most impressive creature I've ever seen. What the? What is? All oh, right, these mushrooms from Pikmin Three. I remember this shit, bro. What is going on here? I don't have the brain power for this. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is the end of the line for me, dog. Well, I do. Do I? Oh, I figured it out. Pink. Pink! Hold on. I can't get up there yet. Hmm. I don't know what that is, but dig it up. Voice?
Boys? Be careful how low you go. There's not much ground below you. What the hell just happened? <laughs> what the fuck? They just dig a hole out of the bottom and then they do everybody falls. All my yellow Pikmin gone. That's my fault. This machinery looks complicated. Good. He's okay, right? Where he going? Is he okay? Boy, is he okay? Ah, ah, I see. They can't die, at least. Oh shit! Oh shit! <laughs> I fucked up! Okay. I got it this time. There we go. Not so complex after all. And they slide on the rail. There's a train track. I like they brought the box back from the first game, but they made it so you can't walk into it and get stuck for some stupid fucking reason. Uh, uh, slight problem, chat. How do I get the... How do I get those wing Pikmin? How do I... How do I get them? The right bounce. Oh, I'm the smartest. That was all me, baby. All me. There they are. Stupid little idiots. They can fly? They fly now? The variety of Pikmin types never cease to amaze me. Let me look these up. So the name suggests wing Pikmin has sprouted wings and can fly, of course, this means they can transport things by air and save time that way. The ground attacks are lackluster, but when it comes to aerial combat, they're unmatched. Well, hey. Huzzah! The sky is no longer out of our reach. We'll get much more exploring and rescuing done with the help of these Pikmin. New creature discovered. Alright. I think that's everything. Right? Yep. So a little done. Alright. That was neat. I want to know what this disco stuff is, though. The wing Pikmin have arrived. I don't have their onion, though. I don't have anything's onion except for the red, the blue, and the yellow. Mm. There is a rock onion, though. Like, and the wing onion. Those did have onions in Pikmin 3. What is going on here? Dude, I don't need more of that. I really don't. Oh. Are you gonna be okay? Okay, you guys can fly. You're okay. You can fly. We're good. We're all right. They fly now. That was not inside of you. There's, there's, there's just no, there's just no. You can't do that. I hate when shit like that happens. It, it pisses me off. 
There's no feasible way that that could possibly be inside that. Yet somehow, some way, that creature ate that. Consumed it. Put it away. Give me more wing boys, please. Hmm. I like these guys because they say hi when I pluck them. They're friendly little fellas. Alright. So what's the plan here? Do I go down? Oh, they got it. More of this. Got it. I got it, I got it, I got it. Shizzly flaw. Doggy. Hold on, I'm looking. Give me a second. I gotta make sure everything's clear. There's a big red button over there. Hmm. I have an idea. I got an idea. What? 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 Where are you going? Homeboy. Oh, that's where they're going. Dog. I wasn't quite sure where they were running off to. There we go. They'll take care of the rest. Just the red ones. Yeah, just the red ones. 31 should be fine. That's gonna turn the sprinkly on. I don't actually want that though, do I? If I turn the sprinkly on. Hmm. What? What? I guess I have to. Wait, that's not a button. They're gonna kill my Pikmin. They're pushing it. Alright, they built it. Now they're gonna make it, they're gonna turn it on. Then I gotta turn it off, right? Or it just turns off itself. You did it. The fire's out. Okay, all right. Hey, whatever works, right? Whatever works. Flying Pikmin are cool because they can do shit like this and just like go over the map. But if you need, you need a full party of Flying Pikmin on them, otherwise they can't like do that properly. That's the only part that kind of stinks. But it is cool to see them just cheat over the map and find shortcuts. They're not hindered by like anything. There is this really obnoxious enemy though. In uh in three that, that sets up spider webs that the flying Pikmin can go right into and just get stuck. Especially if you don't notice it. Okay, 66. They're still digging the treasure up. Nothing here. Okay. It's a pink ball. I can't see either. I don't see anything. That should that should account for the rest of it. We'll see. Because this will be 75% if that goes through. Oh, Just gotta wait for it. Chat's getting close to 10. It's been almost 5 hours. I'm having a great time with this game. 
I feel like, I feel like it's almost over, but at the same time, it's like, I have been playing it for, I've been playing it for over 12 hours now total. So, if it feels that way, it's because of how long I've been playing it. But I'm just gonna keep playing it until eventually it's like, okay, leave, you did everything, fuck off. That's my plan. Hmm. Below grade. Final floor. What the hell? There must be a castaway nearby. Bro, is that a disco ball? What is that creature? I can't charge it. Oh! 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 Shit! It's a spider! Yo, he bumping! What? <laughs> He's walking on the beat. Oh, slow mode. Oh, big steps. This boss is amazing. <laughs> this is such a cool idea for a beady long legs. Phosphorus. So this guy will probably squish me and take all my Pikmin with him if I fuck up. So what I'm doing is very stupid and would not be rec- Would not recommend. <laughs> Ooh! He got two of them. You gotta watch the legs. Each one has to go once before he can fully cut, cut, go out. So, if the front two come up, I'm good. What the fuck was that? I don't want to know what that does. What? What's that? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, Jesus. I don't know how to approach. Oh, he chilled out. This boss is so good. This is the, this is the best long legs I've ever seen. Got him. <laughs> Perfect way for him to go out. <laughs> That fucking sample air horn, man. 
It's so good. It's so good. He only got two Pikmin. He could have killed everything, though, if I had uh, played that badly. I assumed the boys to start dancing, but I wasn't about to play that game at a full party. I can check it in the Piklopedia, though. Piklopedia exists for that reason. This boy be flying. Alright. Hello, hello. Good work on that rescue. Let's see what we can learn from this ID. Vonda. <clears throat> Fiercely believes that what's unexplored land needs most is art, so she hired she hired and flew a TV crew to this planet to create some. Hey, isn't this the opera singer who's always on TV? She's really famous for her performance in uh, what was it again? Oh good, someone else from the TV crew. Be relieved to mugs. All right. Is that everything? 100%. All right. Yeah, that's my favorite new enemy by far. I didn't know what that was at first. And then when I pulled the legs down, I was like, holy shit, this is the new BD Long Legs. They always get a new stompy spider every game. And the one in Pikmin 3 was a huge letdown. This one was not a letdown. This one was not a, re a letdown. That was the best one yet. Oh. Amplified, Amplifier, Spirit Beginnings, Relentless Spirit, Turn of Events Track, also the same one, Soul Reverberator, Olfactory Sculpture, Spirit of Truth, Spirit of Vitality, Thrill Ride Track. Hmm. Alright, what's the overworld of view? Please tell me it's 100. Because it's going to be like Countdown. That guy's on the eShop page, too? I, I, I didn't know that. I only saw the Ice Pikmin. <laughs> well, glad I missed that. Yeah, I had, no, I had no knowledge of that creature's existence. 98%! No! No! What is this? How did I miss that? What even is that? What? Oh... It's over. Well, I'm gonna have to come back for one thing next time, huh? How lame can you get? I can't believe I missed that. I don't even know what that is. No, it, that wouldn't be on my map. It was buried. How the fuck did I miss that? I'm annoyed. That's why I pulled that crab up, but it ain't my purple Pikmin. I know where that is. I don't recall any treasure there at all. Pain. Don't like this kind of pain, though. Man, the night fort stuff with that is going to be weird, isn't it? Defending, like, the sand fort. Oh. I'm really doing all this on my own, huh? Nobody's helping me. They're just watching. All oh, right, I forgot I got a leaf, dude. Yeah, it was all in one day, that last hour. Hold on, gotta scroll. Gotta scroll. Stellar excursion fish bed snack. Yeah. I'd like to build up a large stock of medicine so I can back out there and explore tonight new blood. Hold on now, uh, creatures are more active at night. We certainly don't want our Asprey to suffer any injuries. Eh, oh, don't you fret. What am I What am I here for if not to heal those who put themselves needlessly at risk? I suppose he has a point. Just please be careful. Bro, I just did a whole day. Let me, let me sleep. Let me sleep. 
It's been three weeks on this godforsaken planet. Hmm. Okay, I do want to wrap up, but I'll like talk to everyone and whatnot. Get all that sorted out. I don't have enough medicine for that guy. That guy doesn't have anything new. Yeah, those are fine. What about this guy? No, he's good. He's good, he's good, yep. These guys are all finished up, yep. Several different traveling companions rescuers will have an easier time finding you if you stay in one place. I'm glad I knew that Cardinal Wolf for survival, though I'd actually hoped I never had a chance I never had a chance to use it. <laughs> Hi, uh you know you from this planet? No, okay. Yeah. You look like me. So does that mean you must mean the rescue corpse? That is so awesome. I'm Kai, I came here to my high school planetary science club, but things have gone not according to plan. I ship malfunctioned, and yeah, we were able to escape, but it was a big flustering mess, and not even half of it. We rescued all three of them. That's wonderful. I can't thank you enough. 50 materials. Hmm. Oh. Disappointed in myself for being such an unreliable supervisor, but I can take responsibility now for getting my students home safe. Great. Oh, you're the one who had a good sense to rescue me. What was your name again? Was it Asprey? Oh my, well, you're my manners. I should introduce myself. I'm the accomplished musical genius, Frise. Can you believe I joined the TV station on this spaceship only to end up in an awful crash? My cosmic talent was nearly lost. Dude, okay, dude. I believe my encounter with the ancient life of this planet was orchestrated by a muse of music. Nothing shows the heart of a culture like mu music. There's bound to be some musical treasures here to play on. Could I perhaps impose you to gather them for me? Oh, I had planned to ask you to look for this treasure. How like you'd have already started collecting. I got a few of those. Since I am bearing witness to a small miracle, you started before I could ask. Truly a muse of music smiles upon me. And now let's find all of them. I must get them all. What about you, Lassie? It is I, yes, the famous Vonda. You must be asked for the right. A uh, Vitor Birdie on the research task force told me that it was you who rescued me. Oh, I'm so sorry, lovely. I seem to overwhelm with emotion the thought I don't know how to express my gratitude. What do you want from me? They call a celebrity. I actually came to this planet to start a television production, I'll have you know. Unfortunately, the production space have crashed and missed our arrival. It's probably a sign to stick to what I do best. I'm a diva by trade, of course. A chant. Shantis of the stars, a universal phenomenon, literally speaking. You still listening, lovely? No, actually, I'm not. Oh. Utterly stupefied. How many Pikmin do you lead? Yeah, Try to amass even more. Collect eight. Damn, alright. I'll get your eight. Don't you worry. Boy's all the way over here. All the things you build, please, you gotta take this. I wanna know how much I appreciate it. Build every structure. Intriguing fact, when you use raw material, you get more raw material. It's a true perpetual motion building machine. Build all structures. Cock and balls. Oh. I had a feeling he was gonna ask for that. I had a feeling. <laughs> I gotta go back to area one to build a bridge, area two to build a sprinkler, and area three for one treasure. We aren't very good at reading emotions. Dogs, on the other hand, for some reason, they're much better at reading how folks feel and, of course, at getting close to them. I got this idea that if we have dogs sniff not just for castaway smell, but for their emotions, our rescue missions would improve by leaps and bounds. Yeah, let me see my treasures. Let's do some light reading before I stop. Alright, I didn't look at the ducky collection. Whoa! Look at that. The collection. You can't see the artistry at work here with your eyes, but take a deep breath and your nose will behold the power and beauty at once. One whip, your heart will light up. Surely this gorgeous olfactory sculpture belongs in an art museum. The spine-tingling snap created by this object stimulates feelings of greed within anyone in earshot. The reason being this behind this are unknown. Perhaps it reawakens a primal sensation hidden in the depths of our hearts, but this is mere conjecture. Hmm. 
What you see here is a cover used to disguise a pit or trap, probably as a way to catch small animals. The people of this planet hunted in groups and used their cunning to develop the system. Another proud example of civilization and its infinite wisdom. When I stare at the sacred sphere, phrases like fresh start, new life, and clean slate float before my eyes. The sphere begins to revere for its power to open doors and sprout fresh opportunities. It reminds us that a new chapter is always just a page away. Like those of us today, the ancient civilization here prized good health, but it was harder to come by in olden times, so this orb became a powerful charm for bringing vitality to young and old alike. Even now, I feel more alive just looking at it. Behold the sublime sphere, a shape that's flawless that does not exist in nature, and so, since ancient times, this orb and others like it have been treated as sacred by the civilization here. Each sphere has its own meaning. This one represents truth of the deepest kind. That's the spring fruit. This is star fruit. Is this a fruit or a shooting star that's fallen to the ground? One taste and the answer is yours. Better yet, cut that star into slices and enjoy yourself a fruity constellation. How heavenly. After subsisting on the blandness of spacefaring food, I was not prepared for the symphony of flavors this dish unleashed on my tongue. The sublime melding of the top and bottom flavors. Surely a culinary maestro orchestrated this masterpiece. Yeah, you put fucking rice on anything and the Japanese will love it. As far as I can tell, there's some sort of fish atop some sort of white straff. The specifics don't matter as much as the taste, which is good. Nothing too fancy or ostentatious. Just the kind of back-to-basics flavor profile we all crave now and again. Your voice is weak. It does not carry. No one notices you. If this is true, this is the item for you. Starting today, you are a gym teacher. You will never be ignored again. Throw right. When a sharp turn catches you by surprise, what do you do? Slam on the brakes or throw open the throttle? No matter which choice you make, you're in for a heart-pounding thrill ride. Best to grab for the seatbelt if you got this one. What enormous creature could these monsters belong to, and how did it come to part with them? The mind reels to imagine it all, though this much we do know. The straightness and whiteness of the teeth suggest it had access to excellent dental care. The soft bristles of the brush, how good they feel when scrubbing one's own back. But how easy it is to lose yourself in the feeling, as they say, too much of a good thing is a bad thing. Don't be fooled by this brushing vice. Know when enough is enough. False law. <laughs> what a surprise to find this lollipop offers no flavor at all. The odd protubulance. Protubulance is neither sweet nor savory, and yet mysteriously it lures one into sucking on it. Even more surprising, once you have a taste of this flavorless lollipop, you're almost certain to feel so soothed that hours fly by in a satisfied haze. Sucky. The shape... It is at once familiar and almost comforting. Surely the sculpture was erected to remind us that a mother's love is universal. In times of old, competitors would face off against one another to see who could throw this enormous sphere the farthest. It was said that the only way to take the winner's spot was to train as relentlessly as the spear flies. That is to say, competitors had to give it their all for their spear training. Nothing less than total focus, total dedication, and total confidence would do. Those who give their all found they would throw the spear very far indeed. The implications of this technology are quite frightening. Not only does it broadcast music played by a musician, but pieces of the musician's own soul. We always knew that they put their hearts and souls into their songs, but this takes it to a whole new level. Spirit Sword. The sword is known for bestowing on its owner the power to make allies of forest spirits. Clearly, it is given the odd green hue in anticipation of forest combat. The color does seem rather bright for any forest we know of, but maybe forests here are more vibrant. It's a lot of treasures I got. And the Piclopedia. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I gotta see that goddamn Spider-Man. And the jellyfish. Groovy long legs. <laughs> With mesmerizing lights that pierce the darkness and a low groove that stirs your soul, how could you not get your dance on? Is it a creature or a machine? Who cares? Everyone can join this party. A word of caution, though. Be careful you don't dance right under one of its feet. It's kind of freaky how it does that. What is it even, like, holding up on? Like, a web? Oh, yeah, it is. It is on a web. It's dangling up on a web.
<laughs> they love it. the best this is the best spider I've ever seen yo the boys are lax what happened they chilled out oh, they're good okay hit him with a little uh, lightning bolt Eat shit, eat shit, eat shit. He didn't care at all. Let's just spot a jelly float. Hmm. Notice the elegant ways it floats in delicate transparency. The mystical blue sky, sky blue color always catches my gaze and won't let go. Even when a drifting darling sucks up Pikmin, it doesn't eat them, but gently envelops them. What a sweetheart. Fucking liar! Liar! Doesn't eat them! <laughs> this lovely floating critter sucks up food by stretching and contracting its body. It's hard to imagine such a graceful creature could be of this world. It would be rather exciting to get sucked in with all the treasures and Pikmin to float on forever, but if that really happened, I wouldn't be of this world for long either. Stupid idiot. Master Hop. Okay. Nothing. Hmm. He's an amphituber. Wiggly, elastic skin of the proper fit of this bouncing beauty. Slippery, smooth, and shiny, sleek. His skin is soft as a baby's cheeks. Though you might want to be wary of getting close enough to touch it. Just watching it move will make you yearn for skin that is more radiantly lustrous, too. Waddle push. This accomplished napper can snore away a whole day, but just watching the peaceful look on the snoozing face conveys a feeling of contentment. Also, if you get up close, you can blow bubbles that will envelop you. Have fun, fun, float! It's like dreaming. These peculiar little flyers look like they're wearing goggles. Don't be put off by their odd appearance, though. Places that seem like dead ends, such as treacherous roads, lakes, swamps, and sheer cliffs are nothing to them when they're not carrying anything. With a few flaps of their tiny wings, they flick through the air like fierce fairies. What is this guy? Crusted Rumpup. Oh, what a name. <laughs> Crust. How many did you kill? You killed five, okay. With a red carapace curved like a jaunty sun hat and a tail sporting vivid yellow tufts, this critter is a natural illustration of good fashion. But its face and personality exhibit only true ferocity. It will open its mouth wide and charge with an alarming speed. The juxtaposition of artistic exterior coupled with aggressive attitude is intriguing. This thing looks really cool. Yeah, I think this thing looks really cool. This could straight up be a Pokemon. Like, th this looks like it could be a Pokemon. It's very cool. Not my- not my favorite, though. Amphiblio Sapiens. He's human, did you know? No homo. Mm. How could you possibly pull yourself away from my book? Like this. All right, get me out of here, chat. How do I save the game? Save and return title. Yes. All right, chat, that was five hours. Good job. There's no way Christian's live. Ain't no chance. If he's live, he's stopping in like five minutes. <laughs> no fucking way. Okay. Oh, he's probably at the end of a purity forest or something. Okay, chat. I'm getting out of here. Because it's 20 after. I'm beat. But. I will be back tomorrow. With more Pikmin. Oh god, he's still alive. More Pikmin tomorrow. How long? 
who knows? 